Does everyone have a drinks in these two restaurants? Yeah, I'm a few shots deep, but I'm not I'm not sheets to the wind yet, so I'm ready to go. I and I I'm hoping that Kanatis hasn't lopped off a finger. Why are one of these potatoes made of screaming? It's an obstacle to cover the wound. Okay. I'm up. I'm up to green onion territory now. Fucking green onion territory. It's right by Black Pepper Grove. Oh, that or is that salt or black pepper? I'm pretty sure that's him cutting green onions. It sounds kind of like you know the grinder when you twist the. It does. It does yeah. sound like a pepper grinder. Nope, green onions. Well, last time in Carrion Crown. I was not intoxicated at all, guys, so I remember everything. I I'm sure you promise. I'm sure you do. Luckily technology remembered for you and VODs exist. Hooray! Yep. <clears throat> the only thing I really remember about last session is Crocodilly. Mm. Crocodilly. It's all I can remember after peeing in it, which is why it's the entire tier of the session title. Despite like, you know, the hours preceding it, all I wrote down was Wrestling a Gator. <laughs> That's the whole session title. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys went you did some investigations um in the forest uh you found you found out that the thing that attacked that was attacking the village of morast was definitely not the beast you were able to figure that out it could talk way better and also was like covered in black icor yeah. it also smelled better than most of the townspeople Unless we're getting a tiny echo through your mic, Kina. I'll just mute myself. Thank you, Dale. All right. But yes. Yeah. Get Nathis, no. So now we're in. Now we're in Shetsville. He Nathis. was my favorite. No, you're not. Oh. At the end, you guys got in a boat. Oh, we're and about... you guys were gonna go. F you guys were gonna go fight a crocodile. That's right. Yeah. So, what, remind me, was the yeah? This crocodile was a croc of unusual size. It, it, it was a coos. It was a coos. Croc of unusual sizes. Yep. It's a gator a gosh darn that big. Well, I'll be damned one of these ruined maps, but the walls are actually two squares thick. Myth. Usually all these fucking maps are like one. Oh, crocodile. I literally use this map in, uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, but this hammer? one, this time it isn't covered in, like, Shit tons of uh, lighting, so you can actually see the layout of this map and I can appreciate it. If you can appreciate something, you can't wander into the mountain of zombies. Well, no, that's what the GM layer is for because then people see empty runes and then they get this sense of satisfaction like they're not going to die. And then you go, Stop! All right, so here are all the zombies. And you put them up on screen and they're already around everyone. That's a way better way to do it. I disagree. Yeah, well, that's because you don't like surprise zombie anal. Uh, just suddenly zombies in Okay, you. his act. Calm down there. I, I saw that and I was like, I Ew. I don't want to give you I like I like your art, but I'm not giving you the satisfaction of a like in a reblog. That's good. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of a masturbated. This is this was what we like to call a challenge wank. No, I'm <laughs> no, I'm weird. You know what? You know what? I don't want to know. No, no, I no. wanna know. I wanna know. Well let's not. Don't We've got a game to play. God damn don't it. Don't worry about it because I already have it in hand. <laughs> because uh, I knew where this conversation was going. I like your vampire one though. But uh yeah. Um sit. Yeah, I'll just put it in voice chat text. I don't care. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. I saw that one. Yeah. No bueno. I mean, I mean, it's yeah, got dudes in it, regardless what's going of. What's on with their, their hand there? I mean, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's not bad. I, I mean, she's so fucking fantastic. Can... God damn it. Anyway, yeah, let's continue on our merry ways. Can we move on? 
<laughs> Merz has been waiting with great anticipation for the giant crocodile. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Was it. Is Let it me fight that up? giant avocado. It's an have avocado with it yet. You have not seen it yet. You just know this is its territory and you disembarked from the boat. If I'm I know anything to... about crocodiles, it's that they are like other things that can't fly, and that they can't fly, so I'm gonna stop flying. It's much safer, like, you know, 20 feet off the ground. Ah, oh, snapping okay. range. I mean, you can still scout. I can't see worth a fucking shit. I'm just, like, not gonna get bitten in the asshole. Wait, it's not like in the. It's not like dark, is it? No, still daytime. Could still be good at bit. hiding. Man, if we have to fight stealth crocodiles, I think we just lost that war. I mean, it's gonna be like that darkest dungeon fight where the crocodile just puts its head in the water and you can still see its stupid face. I hate that. It's all damage for some reason. Fucking yeah. Oh, the world hasn't even started yet. I will climb up and do some scouty scouts. I will I assist. No, I'll assist your perception because I'm bad at it otherwise. Ah! Uh, I will sing. The song of my people. Yeah. Before this uh, inevitably starts, Cass will call up at Scratches. You're going to do great, buddy. I believe in you. Which means you get inspiration. Bardic inspiration, that is. Mm, do I want to use Don't miss your first shot this time, okay? Do I even want to use a. Oh, man, you just jinxed me. I mean, it's uh, you can't use... It's not used post thing, so it'll be whatever your next test is. Fair enough. Likewise, I'll give you guidance. <laughs> yeah, super, don't fuck it up. <laughs> I mean, if it's a skill test that comes up, you never know. So, uh, do you see anything? Do I? Nah. You see a really nice ruin, though. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna cast light on a rock and just throw it as hard as I can against, like, the wall over here. You throw, okay. fit, throw a rock 50 feet? Yeah. Uh, if you, just, you just toss it and just noodle Cass it. You, like, girly arm like, it. Eh. Cass, the, Cass does the thing where, like, he puts his leg all the way straight up in the air and just fucking baseball, baseball pitches that shit. Yeah, exactly. Everyone gets some upskirt before he it uses, goes flinging. He uses his jerking arm. Of course, mm -hmm. it's stronger than the other one. The other one is his petting I arm, are. though, and it's actually quite strong, too. Because it's heavy petting. Of course. No, no, that's it. You got the heavy petting hand, and you got the petting hand. <laughs> Alright. Does anything happen? Ah, uh, there's certainly a light uh, lit rock that clatters against the ground. It's pretty great. Uh. 10 out of 10 wood rock again. Well... Uh, the shiny I rock's gone now. Yes, it's not home. Let's go it in. Probably it is. It's just. Hmm. If I were a reptilian predator, I wouldn't come to every random knocking. Uh, I wouldn't be prepared for like shiny rocks if I were a, a crocodile. I think. All right, hold on. Uh. So, given that, I'm going to create, like... A man made over... of bacon. Yes, basically that. I'm going was... to create the Baconator. I was and then I'm going to cast Prestidigitation to make it smell like bacon. I mean, you could have just put me on a plate. It would have been equally appealing. All right. I put scratches, but he's, like, got a little apple in his mouth, and he's all hog tied up in, like, BDSM rope. Ah, uh, there we go. Much more fitting bait. But Andy how are like you going to be able to distinguish him from the real scratches? <laughs> Face Jesus. down. Face down, ass up. That's the way we like to yuck. Because I'm up here. So yeah, once Cass creates the illusion in like the middle of the water, he's going to say, Come and get it! Dinner's here! Hello! Well, come along, Dodrum. You should be in position. Oh, my puffer's making adorable noises in her sleep. You sure that wasn't Dodrum? <laughs> A.K.A. <Sniffy? laughs> no, at the same time. 
<laughs> I will keep an eye out. Hmm. It seems this crocodile is not as simple as a creature was, as we could hope for. Oh God, damn it! Why stray? <laughs> why? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> second that. Why? Ah, uh, I mean, because it's my game and you can't stop me. Exactly. She's got a point. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you can't stop. You can't it... stop the yuck. I might, I, yes, Snippy, I might put that on a t shirt. <laughs> yeah, crocky, 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 crocky. Where is that bastard hiding? I'm all tasty. Do you want me to just start no. run, Do you want me to just. Do you want me to just run just full speed into the swamp? <laughs> it turns out there's like a puddle and, and you disappear. It, there's and like a hole. Stir it up. Ah! You know. Wait, how deep is the water, like, here? Uh, these are just, like, little puddles running through. Right. The water around you seems to be very deep. Anything that's basically, like, dark green, like, right. here, okay. here, so, that's deep. So a moment passes and Cass says, You know the crocodile probably can't fit in that pool, right? I just had a terrifying thought. What if it's an invisible crocodile? Uh-oh. <laughs> right. So Cass is going to come out here. And then he's going to do the Baconator thing, like, in the water over here. I assume Lo is keeping up with the pack, right? Someone should control Kinectus' token while he's gone. I'm going to let... Uh... Save and control Kinectus. Cool. That all right, Kinectus? That's fine. That's fine. Right. Um, in place journal, saving. Can we can edit and control by saving? There we go. Now saving. Cool. Yes, my IT rider friend. Shall ride her into battle. So, yeah, once again, uh, Baconator plan happens uh, like here ish. No, no takers. Doesn't appear to be. These walls climbable. Very stubborn crocodile. Oh my god, you guys, why? What? Nothing. I'll tell you about it once uh, combat starts. DM's like, why are you splitting up? Oh god. No, Can it's we... not that. All right. We just go around the inner circle of this Baconator. place and just, just like, try and trigger the threat. Yeah, all the That's squares basically make a what I'm doing. Okay. Well, uh, it'll take another few minutes of wandering around, and you guys will get to basically back where you started. <laughs> yeah. it. And... Ah, oh, for the love of God. It was south of us all along. It was just Actually, right next it to us really us. wasn't. And... Oh. Initiative. No! You want to know where it was? Yeah, sure. It was frigging up here, and then it started moving down through the water to come up from behind you guys, but then you guys went this way, the other way around. <laughs> By the time you guys were over here going this way, he was over here trying to leap up. You're saying here and here, but the I think only... you're pointing in the GM layer, so we can't see your arrows. Ah, uh, it was here. Okay. And then you guys were here, and you moved up here. It was moving all the way around here, and was actually here when I it was about to pounce Loa, and then I realized, oh yeah, Kanathis is cooking. That would be mean. Straight, you need to clear the old tokens off of the turn order. There's no one else in the turn order. There is no order. Yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, it wasn't doing the uh, normal thing it says when it's blank. So here's my question. How big uh -huh. is this crocodile, and how much does crocodile leather go for? It is More huge. Importantly, side. what can we make out of the crocodile leather? Uh, I mean, sexy boots. If it, I was about to say, if your answer is not sexy boots, then you need to get the fuck out this it's party. It's also a purse. God, you're missing out if you think you can't get a nice, sweet croc purse. Or so you can make crocs out of it. 
<laughs> Look, come on. I can't believe that I've never actually seen a hipster walk around in crocodile crocs before. Now that you mention it. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> That's because you live next to a rich hipster central. I mean, it's true. Ah, uh -uh, poor crocodile. Oh, it's going to get dwarfed up before it's ready. I was not prepared for this. Hit my, hit my initiative counter. Uh, yep, you're already on I it. Did. You're actually going second. Are you back at your keyboard? No. Oh, okay. Well, it's okay. I'll just uh, puppeteer you. It's fine. Really? Really? Yeah, puppeteer. <laughs> All right. Uh, then, as soon as it appears, I'm just going to drop a hex on it. Uh, so, for reference, the ability uh, check I'm going to give it disadvantage on is strength. Hmm. Which, I see what's happening. Uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely just going to help Dodrum cheat, honest. Of course I am. <laughs> Pardon, sorry? He can't is grapple it? it, it's too big. He's a dwarf. Uh, when does he care about physics? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's huge size though. He can't grapple it. <laughs> it's Unless it's just someone him... has a large person, it's no. just him angrily holding on to its leg. Yeah, it is actually you too mean, big to wrestle. The dwarf is just dry humping the crocodile's leg, screaming, Pretty screaming weird. obscenities into his cloaca. In yep, that that seems accurate. Actually, I should have said my real question is why am I so close to it? Well, that was bad for uh, bad form. Because we got dragged around in the, uh, in the order we were when we were, you know, walking the opposite direction. Well, then mm. reverse yourselves. Who cares? God. I'm from bad touch range, and I am the squishy rogue. You'll be fine. It's okay. You'll be fine. I would probably be moving up to here anyway, so it's fine, but... And then, of course, I'm going to miss it and uh, move back a little. Well, fun. Dodrum can't grapple it, and I didn't get high enough initiative for assassination, so my night is officially ruined. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. To be fair, you're a stealthy going up against, you know, nature's stealth boy. It's what crocodiles do. They're ambush predators. So this this seems like it's a, a boss type creature, so let's have Lois start off with a shield of faith on herself. Get into get into proper tanking mode. Smart. It's only a bonus. So she can boop a snoot still. Yep. Should oh, I? A, that is min... I sent you a gift, Snippy. Should I mince up this gar this dill, or should I just throw it in there? Ah, uh, just toss that bitch up in there. All right. It's going in the oven. You don't want it spread out too much. It's night of mighty attack rolls. All right. Good. Ah. Good start. Dodrim. It's a crocodile. <laughs> I don't hate it! <laughs> uh, uh, you guys are great at this. Oh god. But I don't care. What was the, the athletics to like try and athletics suck in your own tears? Athletics is what you use for like uh, pushing people and like grappling and stuff. Uh. <laughs> so he's trying to grapple anyways. Doesn't I care about it, You can't. It's Dodrum. Oh, Although yeah. you are big of a oh, heart, you're short of stature. All right. Well, let's see. Who's this crocodile going to attack? Let's do it. Is it the one getting a second base on his leg? Or is it the paladin? 
It is. God damn it. The dwarf gets a bite. <laughs> 17. Yeah. Hey, look, you got grappled. Yes. Ah. 22 oh, damage. Oh, man, I hope you were... I hope you were raging. You I was. What are okay. You... Oh, okay. That doesn't seem like you were uh, raging. What do you mean it doesn't seem like you were raging? Do you want to check how many, what your full hit point total is? Oh, yeah. And... He's only taking 11 points of damage if he was raging. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And okay. then... Tail slap. Nope. I assume 11 doesn't hit you, Snippy. No. Far too weak. Actually, I don't think you can tail slap something it's in its own mouth. It would no, try the tail to slap, slap is a second but... target, which is still definitely not hitting. Yeah. No, that's only for uh, T Rexes, I think. Most creatures can tail bap things in their face. It's yes. dumb, but yes, but I don't can't. think I don't think that a crocodile in the wild would bite something and then slap its own face. It's true. Actually, uh, that's a good question. Uh, does Dodrum need to make an athletics check to uh, not be grappled? Does that happen on this one until or until the next one? Uh, until he gets oh, no, the, the target is grappled. Okay, yes, so there's, no, there's no test. He is grappled until he breaks out. Rip. Nom, nom, nom. I am fine with this. <laughs> well, yeah, he just made it, it to third base. Greatly. Getting gently bored over here. Yeah. I know, right? It's disgusting. Especially since dwarves, dwarves, are the dwarves are just the worst at porn. Sure, but, uh, Let's see. Um, well, good news. Does it, have any, it doesn't have any resistances, so. It's the full. One. One day assassinate. Yes. Alright. Three, four, five. Let's get up in its face real quick, because that's where kitty boys belong. And, you know, people seem to be having a really hard time hitting this thing, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and ask for a dexterity saving throw from it. Um, no. Gonna make him glitter. Yes, I'm gonna make Let me the tell you. crocodile glitter. Let me tell you. Dex is the giant crocodile's greatest stat. I just, believe this 100%. Just a warning as well, I'm pretty sure Dodrum's gotta take it too. Uh, He's I guess, in yeah, that he is crocodile's in mouth. <laughs> he glows. Excellent. Everyone has advantage to attack the two of you, including each other. I mean, that suits both of them the finest. It has nine decks, two int, but weirdly enough, seven charisma. Sick. And uh, furthermore, I'm going to use a bonus action to give Loa a bardic inspiration die. So, I mean, haven't you heard the phrase crocodile tears? Their charisma is extra high for deception. You know what? This guy looks like fun, uh, and I got advantage. And you know what? Advantage loves advantage loves advantage, which loves advantage. So guiding ball. I'm gonna do it at level two, just to show that I mean it. Twenty-one for <laughs> seventeen. Wow, that was a pathetic uh, roll, but you know, seventeen damage. And we'll put a little bullseye on him. I mean, he's already bullseye in it. Everyone's get get. Where ha what happened? Okay, there he is. Get an advantage, I guess. Do you do anything else, Flying Slew? Um, no. I'm good. Alright, let's rock him a Hexblades curse. Uh, so... You know, crit on the 19. Uh, move up, and I'm gonna give him a heckin' poke. Uh, 18 to hit? Yes. So, 12 slashing, and, uh, 3 necrotic. Uh, 
I'm and glad we cleared that up, Scow. Mm -hmm. And I am going to move back again. And that's me. Loa. Oh, right, that's me. All right, you son of a bitch. I want to fucking oh, hey. keep this. I want to kick the shit out of you, you damn stupid giant yeah, crocodile. Crocodile. Oh, it's mine. I say, Hiya! Uh, oh, fuck. You have a bardic <laughs> you inspiration. Have, yeah, bardic inspiration, and actually, it's a really bad roll. So you probably won't help. No, but I also, do? you have advantage, yeah. so why are you only rolling it's one dice at a time? It's bolted and. Turn that shit on. It's been bolted and fairy fire. Oh. Yeah. Also, yeah. I have it. I didn't know. I didn't realize I had advantage still. And also, you got it set to the disgusting "don't roll with advantage" card. Blech. Uh, yeah, I know. Gotta fix, okay, well, gotta fix that shit. Oh, for my mm. Hey, don't no, you make fun of Kanatis? He's my favorite. This is true. We've heard this. Plus, Kanatis is everybody's favorite. That's true. It's true. Okay, well, with advantage. There's a 16 hit. Yes. All right, then 10 damage, and I'm going to. Oh, baby, I'm going to. Ah! Oh, fight! <laughs> going to wow. Angry wolf noises and dead surprise. Still 15 damage. All right. Kabam. Pleased to meet you, an anteater. I am an anteater. Yeah, Cher is floating and reading her book again. Alright, I'm gonna disappear again. Alright. Too soon? So... Um, oh, damn, that fisting is terrible. The, the, what's the strength save for? To break I out of the grapple Dex that got escape. put on him. Oh, okay. But that's an action. <laughs> Yeah, you haven't got oh, any wow. other. You haven't got any attacks, so you you I, unclamp the your. The second attack is a bonus attack. Only when you take the, the attack, attack action. action. Fuck. If you want no. to just stay in its mouth, I think that's fine. No. Oh, okay. Next turn. Yeah, I was gonna say if you want bo if you want again. bonus punches, then you should be playing a monk and thus being miserable. There, monks are for faggots. Oh, yeah. That's just, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> One sec, I need to clip oh, this. No. <laughs> I need to keep that forever. <laughs> yeah, please, someone please clip that. Uh, <laughs> then on a soundboard. And then, and then every single time DCL opens his mouth, it's gonna be <laughs> match the soundboard. Uh, uh, okay. Anyways, um, while well, the dwarf isn't doing much damage. But the, the giant season. spider lady is. Bite. Oof. And then, eh. Mm. And uh, then... That actually misses, I think, because She's Lola has a protection from evil. Or, sorry, a shield of faith. Yeah. What is base it? AC is 19, so plus 2 is a 21. Oh. Okay. What ho. And then Cass gets slapped. Oh. No, he don't. I'm, Wait, I'm does, not... doesn't he have advantage to hit me? He would, but he didn't, he wasn't hitting he didn't swing at you. Cass. You didn't you didn't do any damage. It you probably won all that cast. you probably won all that delicious either. It bit you, but it didn't get much munch. It tasted like hair. I'm munch. I'm munch, brother. The loops, brother. Oh, fuck! I need to play. A I need a character who's who's like pet class is just named Loops. Oh my god! You should just play the Loops cat, and then uh, clearly Sable will play, play the Heckblade. I I consent to this. I don't know who wants to run Lucky Charms the one shot. <laughs> I need someone to start where you take Tap and Brawler because he could. I don't know what else. 
I don't know if you've noticed what his attack card says, but the attack card literally says rage and punching on it. I relate to this. Also, my turn is done. Yeah. Short bow, 4, 7, 12 damage. It's good damage. Cats. Cats. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and stab the thing, because I have advantage and might as well take advantage. Actually, it got to make a dexterity save at the end of its turn to get out of the effect, by the way. <laughs> I need... no. Yeah, he, he failed. Or actually, wait, hold on. What is my spell DC? No, he succeeded, actually. Really? Yeah, the DC is only 13. Well, you still have advantage because he's getting bolted. Uh, no, someone's hit him before now, unfortunately. Does that only work once? Yeah, it's oh, only yes. attack. next attack. Never yep. mind. That's okay, though. I have two attacks, so I'll probably be fine. Swing. Does a 15 hit? Yes. All right, so he take nine damage, and then he take another six damage. And it's up to seven. Eh. Coup de grace. Bleh. I killed a crocodile! Yeah! Cat starts doing a little happy dance. Good work, Cat. <laughs> Loops. Yep. So let's drag this crocodile onto the land, onto the ground, onto the land. Why is that? Thing? He's just tenderizing it for stew. Good idea, Dodrim. But also stop it. It's it's done now. That's not cool. Dodrim, help me drag this thing onto the land so we can. Let's <laughs> try to like punch it. it onto the land. <laughs> <sighs> yes. D Dodrim, why do you hate the crocodile so much? I think he feels emasculated because he was too small to grapple it. Also, Maybe. I know I how Cash dances. Was... Not entirely wrong. I will see you in your purpose. When we get out of this swamp, I'm going to want some help. If anyone wants to help, sh help shampoo all my fuzz. Sure. Hey, sure, you should know by now. It's ah, I am a big fan of that. <laughs> yeah, that was just drag this right. thing off over here. I think that's just what a cat does after it, like, eats the good parts out of your meal and fucks off again. It's like, you like that? <laughs> you like how I'm ruining your life? Yes, the cat. <laughs> Where is my cat? Oh, still in shadow mode. Oh well. I forgot you had a cat already. So did the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we, uh, can you drag the crocodile over here? And what is it, what is it to, to, to Skibble. get the skin off of it? Survival! I have a survival of five! I have survival. I have survival of one. Then someone should help me, because I think that a person some boots would be dope. Uh, by the way, Lo, you still have a bardic inspiration die. Since it uh, wears off after a minute. I will give you my inspiration Ten minutes, actually. if you oh, are the one skinning this beast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm lean, I mean, I only have a plus one, so unless anyone yeah, else, it's, can... it's, I'll, I'll handle it. And I've also got a, uh, I, I, you know, I'm gonna go with the usual. Yo, I have my inspiration for this. I want those boots. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Seventeen oh, I, boots. I don't think DCL reads that cat though. Seventeen, yeah. The D, you know, great thing about fifth edition DCs aren't entirely that high. Seventeen do, do, do. is more than enough. All right, and is there anything akin to damning evidence in this guy's tum tum while I'm preparing boots? Probably the big ass knife he swallowed. Big ass knife. Big ass rock. I don't remember the. I don't remember this, but I believe it happened. So yes, when uh, this crocodile did attack the um, uh, what's its name? The creature that uh, was attacking the village, and in the contents of your stomach, 
of its stomach, you find um, some some stuff that's obviously been like hardened over and calcified by the digestive system. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of those includes a knife. And this is very much is like a butcher's knife. Not Ah, completely called it. Not a dagger. Yeah. And it uh if you're looking at it and this is supposed to be from the guy that attacked the village, uh they this is handle is way too small. There's no way the beast could have fit his hand around this. Hmm. Good hierarchy, everyone. Oh man. In its stomach you'll find lost honor. Oh. In its brain what? you'll find racking discipline. I I can't <laughs> I still cannot hear Honor without just hearing Zuko yell about it. Honor! No, sorry. Uh, oh, no. Let me stop. Let me stop. I, uh, I related to the very angry yelly boy too much, if you can't tell. Yep. No, I just you, gotta burn uh, your face. Guys, it was like when I went to see the uh, MHA movie. Whenever Bakugo or Shoto showed up on screen, every single girl in the audience started screaming and clapping. And oh, I was man. like, oh my god. You had the a- thirst is real. What is even happening? But yes, we have our evidence and we have our knife. Yes. So we've at least gotten what we need from a crocodile. Save its skin. But uh, that's going to be an extended project that we can save for later. I mean, I got the good parts out of it. It needs all the tanny person things, and I don't really know how to do that. I know to get the skin off, and then I give it to someone, and then with the magic of capitalism, suddenly I have a sexy person boots. Mm -hmm. There's enough here that we can get two pairs of boots. We can have matching booties, and maybe even they'd breach to to thigh high, which I believe is the satisfyingest form of boot. This is true. I could use some new boots, too. And Castle kind of look at his mud encrusted thigh highs. I this am willing to go down to creature. slippers then, so that the two of you can have thigh highs. Yeah. This is a huge creature. You could make thigh highs for the entire party. Make Woo-hoo! two for Dodrim. I mean, I was gonna say Dodrim for Dodrim thigh highs are just called boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the short jokes. It's true. <laughs> You guys keep making fun of him. He's gonna go dig in a hole. <laughs> and what so... mine for a Balrog? Can you even read in your book of grudges? No, it's on stick figures. <laughs> other, than... <laughs> other than your delightful fashion choices, uh, what next? I don't know. I mean, this this knife here is evidence, so that's cool. This thing is way too teeny weeny to go in Beastie Men's hands, and they're blaming the attack of the beast on someone who was wielding this, right? Which means it can't be the same guy. Because this would be like a thumb and pinky finger situation for him, which is probably not great. We could also try and find the dude it belongs to, but we've already got the knife part. I mean, if he was a normal dude, I think he's... Oh no, I mean, this is obviously bigger than normal dude size, but it's... It's... You know, smaller than be- it's, it's way too small for Beastie Relatively Boy. Relatively normal compared to Vali. Yeah. Hmm. So, back to the village, try to demonstrate this is too small, or...? Yeah, and I mean, to be honest, they'd probably buy all this crop meat for us. Uh, we, it's fine. We're not la- lagging all this with us, are we? I mean, we can keep the skin for making it cool boots. But still, they probably want all the meat and shit. Like, are we gonna, like, take it back to the, uh, swamp village, or are we just gonna... Yeah, yeah. Down? I mean, we gotta give them their boat back anyway. Fair enough. <laughs> I think we can lug I mean, all this crop... They- no, no, we no, we don't. No, we don't. Oh no! Right, fuck someone go fucking. It was given an inordinate amount of money. That said, though, yeah, we should fuck, probably fuck corroborate. We should probably corroborate with the village and be like, "Is this that knife?" Also, here is a crocodile. Okay. Would you like to buy all this meat and bones? Fair <laughs> enough. But we're keeping the bones. I'm Keep sad it. to say that this is not like uh, works. 
No, you that's can, fine. You, I, I'm sure you could craft a bone shiv out of it, but it won't be particularly magical. No, that's that's perfectly all right. <laughs> Bless, you. Bless you again. Christ. Bless you. Sorry. Bless you, my child. That sounded violent. It was. I feel like I just got assaulted by my own body. I feel that uh, all the time. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm good. Me too. But half the time it's my fault. Yeah. Anyway, let's. Uh. Yeah. Let, let's give those 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 swamp village troglodytes some delicious crocodile. Make sure this is the same knife, and then bugger off back to the actual village place we need to go. Town, city, whatever. Well, the things you need to do, um, you figured out that the killing of uh, people in Morast was, uh, hang on, let me read, do, 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 do. okay, that the killing of the people in Morast was uh, most definitely not done by the beast. You need to go and find out about the murder of six children in Hergstag. Stag of Herg. Yeah. It was abandoned seven months ago. There was the desecration of the Boneyard, the burial site for all the cities around. Um, I believe you guys went to the um, our, uh, the Asylum of Sanctuary on Carbile. You did that. I, I am I'm fairly certain you did that. I'll take your word for it. I don't remember, but I'm still uh, I have a map for it. I have a map for it. And it was in uh, all of my maps are in order that I made them, and it was Morast Hamlet Asylum Swamp Ruins. So we're in the swamp ruins right now. So I'm pretty sure you guys already made it to Asylum and looked around. Cool. Let me scroll up to see what you guys found in Asylum, so we can uh, you know, get through that. But hang on, scrolling. Be stuck on trial. All right, there's Leopardstadt University, the Swampers of Morast, Abandoned Boneyard. Where are the hecky doodles, children of Hergstag? Jorglin of Borglefork. Come on, you assholes. Someone just said what they never went to the asylum. That part was next. Okay, cool. We have not done the asylum. I don't have not done the asylum. Then I don't remember doing the asylum. Listen, listen. I was not under the influence last time. I am a sober person. God, truthful. Gosh, do I hate the devil liquor. I am a big fan of the devil liquor. She is my favorite hooker. Amen, In any sir. event, you guys, what, how, what? Amen. Ah, this is a Christian server. Damn <laughs> All right. So, uh, listen, uh, sidebar, is it's like a real quick sidebar, I'm sorry, but back in the days where FenChat, before Discord, when uh, FenChat was using, uh, Pubby FenChat was using, uh, I forget what it's called, um, I was, yeah, I, I, I was lurking in there because I was afraid to talk to people, and uh, like I always did, because there was always like 70 idlers in there, that was one of them, and uh, one time this person booped in and they were like, so is this like, you know, a, a server where I can talk of, uh, about li like uh, this uh, smut I wrote? And Saban was like, no, this is a Christian server. And this guy goes, oh, OK, and then logs out. It was the funniest. Some people, man. So... Anyways. Also, that's really weird hearing, like, somebody who I didn't know at the time who's just watching me. That's the weird I'm, internet person feeling now. I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't, I, I only, uh, I, I didn't, like, do that often. It's just that, like, I'd pop up and it was like, don't worry, Stray, today's the day you're going to have the bravery to talk to people. And then it was like, <laughs> no, you're just going to log out out of shame and go play video games. Oof. I understand them feels. Oof. 
Oh, Stray, you make me sad. It's okay, because then uh, Saban made a Twitch thing, and then I lurked in there for a while. And then I, when I finally talked, Merzindi was really nice to me, so I kept doing that. And that, that's how we got here today. Da, 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 da. Now, how are oh we getting to God. the asylum? With a boat. Uh, you can oh, just take okay. the boat. Oh, wait, we're still, we still got to get to the town and sell the crocodile. Are we already have okay, look, look, Okay, I'll show you where you are. We totally handle that, right? Oh, God. I love this. I love this so much. Uh, this token. It's so beautiful. Every time we see it. Mm. <laughs> it's just so good. I'm yes. sorry. Presumably, <laughs> presumably I... we can get boots made in leopard stat, but the uh, the yeah. swamp people will buy off of us like the heavy shit, like the meat and the bones, and also yeah. confirm this is in fact the knife, and then we can, you know, boat You're, our way down to the asylum. Are... You guys are in the swamps right now, as you're about here. Then there's the asylum out here in the middle of the river. Then there's the boneyard right here. And all the way over here is Hergstag. Normally I'd be trying to beeline this conversation, but I'm going to admit that half of my brain just shut down right now. <laughs> if uh, anybody oh, wow. else wants to talk, because I have not had sleep. What is sleep? <laughs> what are me? What are ours? So I do not trust my faculties right now to be talking that's a, that's agreeable. It's, it's all good. We're all in that you place. You should develop an alcohol habit. It'll help you sleep, I promise. Doesn't help oh, you wake, though. I have very, I have big problems waking up in the morning. I have big problems waking up in the morning. Oh, don't worry. If you drink too much, you'll just wake up horribly sick and just lay in there in bed for a while, wishing for death. Mm. I really do that. It's fun. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, Turn it in the knife. Uh, I guess you know, whoever wants to have yeah. that conversation. I mean, we could probably just fast track it. Like, does he confirm yeah, that? Like, this can... is that in fact knife. Yes. Okay. It, well, um, it, well, it appears to be that knife, anyways. Once you guys start cleaning it off, you realize that all the gunk around it was just like um, uh, protective, like uh, hardened bile. And the knife itself is, weirdly enough, untouched. Hmm. Is it magical? I don't know. Hey, kitty cat. Degunked, like, degunked the stab rooney. Is it magic? Ancestor uh, Makana check. I think he's just got the identify spell. Incidentally, I have the identify spell, so I guess I'll just oh. use it on the dagger. Sure, why not? Well, I mean, technically, it's a butcher's knife, but, you know. Whatever. It, if you're... Oh, okay. I see how that is. Jerk. Get, get magic. All right. Um, Let me see. I wrote this down somewhere. Uh, No. I actually have magic. Eight. Um... No, not vicious. Hang on. Still looking through it. Still looking through it. Okay. Um, this is uh, called the Butcher's Knife. It has the uh, Huntsman enchantment on it. You gain advantage on survival checks made with this knife to, like, skin creatures and stuff like that. Wow, it fuck. Also... Wish I'd known that when I started skinning that creature. <laughs> and... It will also deal an additional 1d6 points of damage to creatures the wielder has tracked with survival in the past day. Oh, that's kind of cool, but I don't have good survival. I do, but that do thing's I... for cutting, so I won't do it. But I will use it to make boots. I mean, it is, is it a, like a plus one? Kind of sounds like for... a stone weapon, almost. <laughs> Yeah, I would agree. It's good for skinning stuff, and it's good if you've been tracking, like, like a ranger would love this, uh, you know, quote-unquote dagger. It's the kind that you keep between your teeth as you crawl through a bush. Yeah. So, Dodrum, do you want the uh, butcher's knife? Mm -hmm. if, uh, if no one else is going to take it, sure. 
I mean, I, I don't what think anyone except Shara and possibly you have survival trained, so it would be completely wasted on the rest of us. It would be. I don't have survival. We should give it to someone who has survival. And remember, I, I said creatures you've tracked with survival, not animals. Yeah. Count some people too. But again, it's, it's also a wish-up thing for stabbing. If you want, I'll hang on to it for now, just in case we need to do more skinning. But I would like to add that I would like to qualify skinning for just animals, not creatures, because I don't want to skin a dude. Define a dude. A humanoid. <laughs> uh, sentient, I guess. Anything that's not a goblin. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Look, if I approach it with a knife and it starts screaming, it's also probably not something that I want to skin. Alright? Does that sound like a good... I... Uh, several animals I... do that. But... Well, I mean, those ones I might not skin then. I do kind of want to play a My Species Doth Protest Too Much Goblin in the second part of the Pathfinder playtest. Just take everything I know about goblins and make it reverse. <laughs> so goblins are pretty awesome short stacks of big boobs. I not... mean, you're ta you're talking about uh, like in case goblins, not Pathfinder goblins. I would like in case goblins, in -case please. Goblins anyways. Anyway, yeah. All right, cool. Fuck it, I'll just add it. Butcher, not bitches knife. Butchers knife. The bitches knife. Bitches love knife. Eh. You want some spank? I give that. I give her. I give her knife. She'll give me spank. Gotta love that video. Mhm. Mm Damn it, Becky, love me. Just want to smash. And are we able to get any money for the crocodile meat? Sure, you get an amount of money. Surely he, they've already been given. Be. They've already been given like fat stacks by Doldrim right now. They've just been giving back some of his fucking money. I feel like they can just have it as a gift. Fuck it, whatever. Let's improve our standing with them. I don't know. We're Let me look up fifth here. edition trade goods. Well, no, one of them's coming to fucking Leopardstad to speak. Remember. So if we build up a good reputation with them, then that's good, right? But wait, if we just give them things, they'll think that we're uh, looking down on them with our charity because they're prideful swamp folk. They don't need we're our city slickers. Just Look, do you food. want the crocodile meat? Because I don't want to carry around the crocodile meat. And someone uh, already gave right. him platinum. Ha let's. What would be a fair amount of pounds of crocodile meat you guys have? It was a l huge beast. God, like yeah, it had to be. It had to be taken. Uh, you guys but the thing is, it had to be carted back on a boat. You guys don't have a bag of holding. That's true. Yeah, so maybe like a hundred, like fifty, eighty, hundred. I top. will go with a hundred. Now that means that you get uh, two hundred copper, I guess, because trade goods so is one pound. One, yeah. One pound of flour or one chicken is two CP, and we're calling one pound of meat one chicken. Fuck spending the amount of time to carve 500 pounds of meat off the crocodile. Because apparently a huge animal weighs between two and, well, 16 tons. God. Yeah. And so yeah, that was like probably at least a, you know, four ton croc. You guys are going so, to be eating I'm well going, on the crocodile. I'm going to put that down in my inventory. I've never had crocodile. Same I've had crocodile, crocodile meat. Like? I've had croc. It's very gamey. It's uh, like I've eating ham. Crocodile. I assume that every southerner ever has a, at least uh, some croc or some alligator. I'm at the very Texas, least, some rattlesnake. Not Louisiana, yes. Jesus. You're from, yeah, you're from Texas. I'm from Texas, a desert. Yeah, yeah. I was and it's space. still <laughs> something that gets sold down there, like alligator jerky, because no. you guys are close oh. enough that it can be no. shipped. No, I've yeah, never seen alligator just to, just to just to I, just to just to cut I've, you all off. I've had I've, I've had crocodile. It's okay. What does it taste like? Uh, it tastes like ham, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very proteiny. I've had wild it's quite tough, and it tastes like ham. I've had 
basically most uh, game that walks or flies in California. Mm. So like mule deer, I've had elk before. I've actually had bison. Um, I but do I not like bison. That one bison I, tastes like grass. I grass. was not impressed. I was not impressed by the taste. Crocodile tastes more like ham than borders. I will tell you that the two best things to eat if you uh, go in the United States and you're trying to uh, and you're gonna try like um, native uh, cuisine that's just uh, native to the United States, try mule deer venison and try um, either pheasant or uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Mount uh, Mount Rainier duck. It's really good. Fair enough. It would probably it would probably be best if we stewed the meat. So we'll eat that later, I guess. Mm -hmm. So let's continue on. I will carry a bunch of it, I guess, because I'm the biggest. Yeah. Giant spoder. I can't be bothered to count, like, you know, so, 500 copper. Uh, so, fuck it, whatever. You're going to have, like, 200 CP, but, you know, you guys can just... Uh, they'll say that it's worth 200 CP, but they got a bunch of silver and gold, so it's just going to be easier if they just hand that over to you. Yeah. So, in whatever amount you have, uh, they'll give to you. Uh, whatever amount you want, I mean. Uh, whatever... Like, 20 uh, whatever silver? Amount, whatever currency. Yeah, so what is it? 20 silver, yeah, 20. I guess. You guys can have it, I don't want any. Oh, I am sorry for math. Four silver for each of us that are taking any. Okay. Well, you know, at least you're not an Alaska saving. I mean, yeah, if you're in Alaska, you're just always next to, like, a polar bear or something. And you're pretty much alone. <laughs> if you're in Alaska, like, the only thing you're next, next to is to incest. People, you're alone. Even, no, even when people, like, <laughs> live next to each other, they're like, oh, I just know this person down the road. They're talking, like, five miles away. Yeah. Also, it's all being an American. I got 40 words for snow, and all of them are, fuck, it's so cold! <laughs> Alaska, Texas, and California are the largest states in the Union, right? But Alaska is bigger than Texas and California combined. Yeah. And yet, it has the lowest population of any state. Because why would you live in Alaska? <laughs> Even the Alaskans don't want to live in Alaska. So, anyway. Um, why, why you gotta ruin my fun? Anyways, I was going to do this. What do you guys want to do next? Going to the asylum, right? Mm -hmm. Do you wish to go to the asylum first? Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right. Now uh, give me a minute to scroll to where the asylum is. I've got the map ready, but it's been a while since I've read this. Mm. Not the boneyard. You don't want to get down to the bone zone. Mm. There we are. Carb Isle Sanctuary. The third crime the beast is accused of is the arson attack of the asylum on the sanctuary of Carb Isle, which resulted in the fiery deaths of the sanctuary's administrator, Dr. Brada, and all of his assistants, uh, assistant, bleh, all of his patients, and the blinding of the doctor's assistant, Carl. Now, you guys know that the Sanctuary started as a noble idea. Unlike most asylums uh, in this country, Dr. Brado was a very good man who founded the institution to cure those unfortunate individuals afflicted with madness and physical deformity. His own motives were born of his own horror at the fate of his uncle, who was burned by a mob because of his monstrous features. And just go like this. And let Sounds me like a pretty raw deal. Go over here. Copy over all your tokens. Doodly do. Sitting by the door. Also, the Discord server's connection seems a little bit crappy, so I'm going to quickly ah, change our server. I know, yeah. Give us, give me a moment. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, they did have good internet, but now they don't have any memes, so... I mean, is it really worth it? Also, I heard earlier that Saban, you really like garlic, right? Yes. You know, uh, Megan Merkel? She is no longer she. Uh, she's a chick that married um, the English Prince, Prince Harry. Yeah. Oh right, yes, okay. Part of the new diet being in Buckingham Palace, no one is allowed to eat garlic, and I'm like, you know, princess title is pretty good, but um, is it really worth it? No. Garlic. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that and the fact that as an actual princess she has to do all of the charity work forever yes and she's never gonna live up to diane she oh, still so... has a creepy mod po mob following i i don't understand it i'm too young <sighs> diana was apparently you know nice and relatable despite being the death but anyway Sure is an asylum. Yes, Doctor, that's what Farley was accused of. Well, let's start looking around. Ah, oh, this place looks dead. What, what are we even solid looking for? Punch. Yeah, it's probably going to be ghost punching if there is any a punching. Although there's skeletons probably, and skeletons are punchable. You should punch them. Oh, I love my way of think, Shara. Well, you know, sometimes I'm just a people pleaser. <laughs> I'm gonna nice. idly give uh, Lois Fuzzy Spoda butt like just, just like brushes, so that there is less mud and gunk on it before I reseat myself. Yay. But brushes. I assume, I assume you get happy spoder wiggling. Thank you. Okay. I have to get it washed properly later. What are we even looking for here? Uh, uh, mystery. We we should try to uh, find where the flames originated from. Uh, I'm hoping one of you are a more competent investigator than I. No, not really. Not even a little bit. I'm man. amazing at investigation. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I I got this, guys. How how many Let's days see. has it been since we were at the uh, swamp? I mean, it doesn't take that long to travel up river in a boat. You're it's basically um uh late evening. Oh, it's the same day. Oh, okay. Rough. You didn't have to go that far away from the because you guys got there in the morning, mm -hmm. and the crocodile wasn't that far away. He was okay. maybe like a half an hour by boat, and then you guys spend a half an hour fighting it, half hour back. Okay. Took you a while to get up here goat. though. I forgot I bought a goat. It's my goat. Yeah, you're a little goat. Presuming someone was helping me. Eight twenty-two. Yeah. Oh, wait, right. and also hold that thought, because it seems like a thing that I should you know. It's probably an extended check as opposed to something I can guidance on. Never mind. Yeah. Hey, dynamic lighting all of a sudden. Sorry about that. The dynamic lighting wasn't turned on. I was like, well, I mean, you guys could tell that it's uh, not day because dynamic light. Oh, right. <laughs> you guys are doing a heckin' investigation? I don't see anything Investigation. Okay, so Cass, where were you investigating? Oh, you the night of the uh, in this building, presumably. Mm, this seems to be. Uh, th this is probably some sort of outpatient room. I see. Like lots of. Uh, I I'd put tables and stuff like that, but the heat of the flames has basically scorched everything to the foundation. Like no, these aren't right. proper walls; they're at most a foot high. Fair enough. Do I find anything punchable in here? 
Well, yeah, look over this one. I mean, not really. That's a shame. What are all the dead bodies? <laughs> Loa! So, with that 20 investigation, you're not going to find anything here, but um, I will give you this because you got to. Oh my god, guys. Calm down. I will tell you both the same information. A place like this would have needed, like, uh, great storehouses and stuff like that. But every single place you've gone to doesn't seem to be that way. So you would assume there should be like a cellar or something. Mm. Yes, yes, I see. Start looking at, start. Come on, gang, let's go downstairs. Let's yeah. look for some rubble then and see if I can find a stair like a, a cellar door somewhere. I'm gonna start digging through rubble. Oh right. I you uh, dig through rubble. I spy Cast. one. Cass, Loa, why did your eyes just light up for a second? Out that way. Uh, investigation. Oh, there it is. I found a stone. Yeah. All right. I check for traps because I'm compulsive. Um, it there certainly does appear to be a trap about uh, 15 feet behind you. <gasps> Scratches. How many times are we going to make this joke, old man? <laughs> DCL, you're not capable of stopping me. <laughs> How many times are we going to have to you make this You have joke, no power man? here. All right. Uh, I'm a do to you like I did to a lunch to school, Marm. When oh. you look at this door you notice to your alarm that uh unlike everything else here there's been no like dust settling on this this has been used quite a bit and first you hear some rattling and well you're not caught off guard because that was a great um investigation check however the door does fly open and several horrifying creatures come spilling out oh dear oh fun if only. Ooh. Oh dear. Uh, I got this. Is there something punchable? Yeah. Yeah, but. 100% handleable. I got this. Presumably. As long as you go before they do, you sure do. Yeah. I sure didn't have guidance ready right. this time. Let me look up their description. I was going to say I would use inspiration. I don't actually have any. Dang. I don't think anyone has you. gotten inspiration. No, you have. You just used it. I've oh, still I got actually mine. have inspiration. I gave, like, literally everyone inspiration. I tapped mine out there at was some a... point. I forget on what. There's a pinned message about it and everything. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. Go ahead, go, go ahead, get down. Get down. These get are down. horrifying creatures with pale skin, bald, long, sharp fangs, long tongue, pointed ears, and horribly elongated extremities. These are creatures known to you guys, as these are fairly well, you know, ghasts, or uh, as they're also known as ghouls, are a fairly common fairy tale. They roam the night in packs, driven by an insatiable hunger for humanoid flesh. Nom nom. Nom nom nom. Punch, 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 One, punch, punch, punch. Two, three, four. Why did I do that? Why am I like this? All right. God damn it, son of a bitch. Oh, I'm right next to him, too. Oh, boy. God, I love drag and drop uh, sheets. Oh. It's so good. Okay, so, so luckily good. I was muted, so you couldn't hear my angry yelling at your initiative. But luckily, they don't share an initiative. 
No, they do not. <laughs> I don't. Have I rolled above a ten for initiative since I came over four? It's weird. Uh, yes, you have, because there are at least two attacks where Alpha Strike got to occur and then cucked you most severely. Ah, uh, yes, you're right, you're right. In fact, I'm pretty sure there was an occasion where you crit an That's initiative and was like, Ah, oh, yeah, I've got this! Then you went, unless I miss, and then you rolled, and then you missed, and went, of course I missed! Except with more uh, screaming, yeah. I couldn't be bothered to do the screaming. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Feeling okay. So this first guest is going to step forward and um okay let's begin to turn and claw at Loa. It will not hit Loa. Who don't believe they have multiple attacks. I think it's just a one. It would say if they had more. And then this guest is going to move forward over here. And claw the succubus. Eh. Oh, guys. Look, they're trying, okay? Scratches! I, too, am going to try. Uh, They're both flat-footed, so they can't offer me, so I'm going to move up here. That's not a That's thing. That's not they're a not thing. thing. They're not flat-footed, though. They aren't flat-footed. You... They, they can't opportunity attack you anyway because you aren't trying to leave anyone squares. And they aren't well, I'm using about to, arms. so... Uh, so use your cunning action. Yeah, disengage. cunning action to disengage. I suppose... I suppose I'll use my Ooh. class feature that lets me do the thing I want to do in a system that doesn't exist. Yeah, there's no such thought... thing as flat-footed. Okay. So no, if... they burst out. They were ready. Yeah. Oh. Also, flat-footed isn't a thing in 5e. Is it not? It's, it's not, okay. no. It's never been. I thought, you, I thought if no. you didn't get to... I think it's unaware no. is what you're thinking of, or whatever. It's surprised it's is surprised. a thing. Surprised, but... there we go. Yeah, Yeah. I thought like if you didn't... Variant. Sorry. I thought if you didn't act... If you haven't acted with your initiative yet, you didn't get no. opportunity. That's no. Pathfinder. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. I can, I, can, I can move on top of Cass real quick, right? Just uh... You can attack from there and disengage, you just can't end in a space. Yeah. So yeah, let me try attacking with a with a dagger with a alpha strike. Where didn't I get two short swords? Where did I put those? I'm just gonna use my I short. Know. I, I do know you have magic daggers though. Do I? Mm -hmm. You were given a magic dagger by Cass. I can't keep track of all your stuff. I just know you're given one. That resist holy water. Did they fucking my sheet is weird. I'm going to uh, take your word on that, and then I guess this will be, like, what, a plus one dagger attack? It had other things that it was able to do. I can't remember it because that's not my job. Oh, God damn it. I'm going to have to look back through the archives. Whatever. Uh, does a 15 hit? Let's find out. Yes, it does. Uh, that's a short bow attack. No, I'm not shooting it. I'm just using, just that using the attack macro, right. They're yeah, identical. and don't count the damage yet because I have to see if uh, I'm going to hit twice. Oh, actually, you know what? Do I, mean, I want to just disengage? I think I want to just disengage. Uh, Do your uh, first damage first. With... You could deck it. Yeah. He ran up with his bow and shot it in the face and it ran back. No, fuck, Good you job, fuck you. Point blank yeah. range. No, fuck you. I'm going uh, I'm to do the other alpha strike. I'm going to try to hit, hit it twice for max damage. Oop. 12 to say it. Hmm. I don't get opportunity for any reason, so... Wait, I'm flanking it, technically. No, no there's no such thing as flanking. No. No, not. There's... Wait, there's still... Okay, flanking... Optional is... rule, it's not in there. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, then. Apparently, I am just completely wrong about everything. You are trying to play Pathfinder. This is not Pathfinder. Either way, uh, boop, 30 damage. Holy, what the fuck? It would have been. Yeah, uh, this extra... is what he does. Would have been an extra two d six, but unfortunately, I missed the second. So, all of your damage together, please. That is 30. that is that is it. All thirty. Okay. Yeah, it's thirty. Cool story, bro. Oh, nearly that Three. extra two d six could have been a one shot. I know it was close. Oh well, I got the assassination off, so uh, at least there's that. And just because First time for everything. First time for everything. And just because it's going to happen rather now or later, I'm going to have to uh, 
move back because I don't want the gas. I mean, you me. yeah, you have to because you you can't end in his space anyway. So let's try to move over here and see if he can attack me. Um, so oh, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. This guest is. Wait, hold on. Oh, don't okay. forget to actually oppy at scratches. It wasn't a disengage action. It wasn't what? a disengage. Because he, okay. no, he went, he went full alpha strike. He swung twice, two weapons. Get clawed, nerd. Oh, oh, oh fuck. fuck! So I want to point now, out that I we told you constitution saving throw. Uh, I want to point out that uh, because you guys haven't been in those other games, I seem to have had a bad string of luck. Of every time I take an opportunity attack, it's always a crit. That's happened to me in uh, four different games now. So yeah, I guess this is uh... your con save, nerd. Fuck okay, you. you're fine, but you take twenty damage. Well, <sighs> my unhitting streak is finally over. Did did you not use your cunning action? To no, I didn't. No, use my he cunning tried action. to double tap with both weapons. The second attack missed, however. Ah. Fortunately, it would if it was a surprise round, it would have been real good, but it wasn't. It would have been great if you were just paralyzed and just paralyzed on top of ca uh, Cass. Amazing. All right, now this gas. Now that it did that, it's going to try to. Uh, you know what? Claws are more dangerous than bite. Oh Jesus my god! god. Uh, so that that was me, wasn't it? Yeah. Ow. So take 16 damage and make a Constitution saving throw. Oh boy. That was Would very you like, uh, do you have any inspiration? No, not that it matters. Oh crits, God. crits, oh crits, God. crits, crits, baby. Crits for fucking okay. days. Lots of crits in a short period of time. That's, That's one, one, two, two three, three, four, four five. five, six, seven <laughs> crits in um, Jesus. About as many rolls in the last few minutes. But I'm saying in a row, it was one, two, three, four crits just in a row. No, five crits five, in a row. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty sick. My god. I'm, I'm gonna crit. hope that those crits have stopped because turn on dead. Okay. Uh, yeah. Against which one? All of them. All within within thirty feet. Oh wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Uh what? you sorry, had advantage sorry, on the first of those two swings, not the bonus attack stab. It gets used up with the first hit. The gas had an extra took an extra eight damage. Why? From point. Why? Because uh, Rogish, I just reread the assassination thing. I get advantage on anybody who was not taking it. It's too yeah. late now. You got it on the it first already attack. Took its turn. No, but I took its turn before it. Yeah, Unless but it, it already, already took its turn and did damage. So we're moving on. Did it? Yes. Yes. It just crashed. Just damage. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so oh, we're not we're not rolling back time that much. Oh, damn right? it. So how your shit works. Turn undead. So, uh, I, I, we'll go in order. We'll go in order. The first one. One, two, three, four. All right, so three succeeds. Because, guess what they have? Wah. Ability, turn defiance. The ghast and any ghouls within 30 feet of it have advantage on saving throws against effects that turn undead. Only one is turned. And we'll call it this guy. He's turned. Let's put a little... I'm are. afraid I caught on it. Where's the grasping head shouting thing? Come on, help me out here. Okay, here we go. I like that ability of gasps. Mm. It's neat. And I think it took its turn and hit Cass. Cass didn't care. Shara, make a constitution save. Uh, why am I making a con save? I will tell you. Okay, is it stanky? Gas have stench. Yeah, that means stanky stankers. Ten! You barely succeed. Ugh, it smells terrible. Okay. Not too terrible. I turned everything. It's not my turn anymore. I oh, right, right, right. Uh, Cass, con save. Okay. Sorry, I was just reading something incredibly funny. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Very good. You may act as normal. All right. Uh, let's try and dispatch this gas with the scimitar of ending. Swing. Neat. And it's undead, so it dies. 
All right. Then we're going to... More like Redead. Redead. Yeah. As much as I'd like to stab this other guy, I got stabbed real good. So let's use our bonus action to healing word. Word. Huh? What? And that's my turn. Wait. You've heard about the word? Dirty bird. Why is the word? I said the bird, bird, bird. That was actually the day when I pulled that joke on Kanatis that uh, his love for me died in his heart. <laughs> so, right. hey, hey, Stray, you know how you were saying that uh, Olympia's capacity was way too small? Fen had accidentally set it to see uh, to see if your dick would fit inside her dick instead of her orifices. Great. Wow. <laughs> Because that was annoying. I was like, what? I'm not even bigger than Kiro. My god. Hmm. Uh, it's just a thing earlier, like uh, a top tier waifu got added in waifu no, simulator no, no. I, in I, I space. Wasn't, I wasn't thought. I was. I heard me out. Okay. Oh, you heard your cat? Yeah. <laughs> it has a very small little meow, so it's very hard to hear with headset. I, I'm going to need some more pics of that kitty. It is on my lap right now. Um, I heard it. Sorry, Cass. You were in front. That's fine. That's where where I came for. They don't have high intelligence. I know. Attack in the line. Claw. Miss. Dodrim. There's still three standing. Come on, Amadeus. Follow me to glory. Punch. I am raging, of course, and I'm punching, and I'm grappling. Oh, I'm grappling. Literally walk outside the door, turn around, and ring the doorbell because they forgot something. Is it a yes. bonus action Snippy. to hit rage? Oh. Yeah, that was what uh, I was You cannot thinking. punch a second time. Again, you aren't a monk. Oh, well, <laughs> Yeah, you can hit him with that very first punch, which is the only one that hit anyway, and then grapple him for free. Oh, yeah, we're, we're and I'm back. So, uh, 21, 13, all of those hit. No, they don't. Only the first one, one happens. Oh. Only once. But it does get grappled then. Grapple. He grapples the, the, the creature with a foul stench ability. He's just gonna grapple it. Okay. My well, you worse. didn't begin... You didn't begin... Uh, your turn within five. I'm just gonna you say, though, we're gonna so force this dwarf to, have a, dwarf to have a bath afterwards. He's literally rubbing okay. himself on it. You fucking damn. How much damage was it? Eight. You don't need to make a con save. Shit. Eight damage. Mm-hmm. You know, eight damage to the face and boom, he's grappled. Next turn. Um, you only need to make it if you begin your turn within five feet. So let him make a con save. Let him meow with the cat. Can that this no Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna attack I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, But first you gotta make me a con save. Oh I have to make a con save. Oh does it Why me? Because it stinks because they smell really bad. Oh it just smells really bad. Yeah, oh. the gas stench. Mm. Hey, hey, it happened! Kanathis, you have the poisoned condition. Oh, oh you that's just vomit all over yourself. I didn't think it would happen with the how low a DC, but now you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Hmm. It's an action to do it. Uh, yeah, fuck. Well, I guess I'm going to keep attacking. I guess I'm going to try. Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration to just cancel out that my fur, my attack of disadvantage. Since my attacking is so bad, I'm just going to one hand the warhammer and have my shield on. I miss. All right. 
There it is. All right. Uh, nice, simple. I'm going to step up after Dodrum. I'm, uh, and that guy is grappled, right? Yes. Yes, I should put a symbol on him so I remember. Note that uh, being grappled doesn't make him grant you advantage or anything. All right, all right. Uh, and then I'm going to give him a poke. Oh. Goodbye, Glaive. I loved you. Wait, you're, and... you're, you're, don't you have a special thing where you can't be disarmed? I, I, I don't heard think it. that's the case. I... It's adorable. It, she's not being disarmed. It's more like dropping it. Yeah, it goes flying out of your hands. Wee. You kind of, uh, you stab towards it, and where you thought it would be, it isn't anymore, and you were braced for something entirely different, and it goes sailing out of your hands behind it and clatters against the ground. Oh, uh, I guess next turn I'll just have to spend my action getting that back. Oh, well. I, I'm just gonna move back and sit in the shame corner. <laughs> I really expect to be stabbed in the back. I'm kind of disappointed I'm not stabbed All in the right. back. This guest is going to claw Loa. 22, I hit, yay! And yeah, make a did. constitution saving throw. Or be paralyzed for one minute. I love this. You're fine, but you still take 13 damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you okay? Yeah, Ow. sorry. Cat is, cat is clumsy. Hmm. Oh, well, your cat sounds incredibly precious. She is. I don't okay. know why she's yelling at me so much, Good though. Day. She's being very vocal, so I'm worried have she you won't. Have you fed her? Yes. That's all. Does she have a litter box? Dogs. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Has she pooped have in you your lap? Water? Yes. Then you're fine. It's just a cat being a cat. And this guy is gonna friggin' book it. Alright, what's your movement? Your movement is. 30, so it's going to it's out of here, nerds. Oh, Peace. No. It got fucking turned. Okay, so that one got turned. That one's I been think, grappled. And this I one is Lola being... can take an attack of opportunity, actually. This one is being a moose. She I, should uh... not do so, though, because it will end the turning. Yes, oh. if it takes damage, they are no longer turned. Okay, that's a, that's a good reason for me not to shoot it. Yeah, an excellent reason. Uh, no, that's an excellent reason to instead focus on the other ah. two trying to murder the cat. So yeah, I'm going to uh, yeah. shoot this one. Short bow. I should have uh, woke Tosh up. Boop. 16 and some uh, sneaks. And then I'm going to hide over here. Cunning action. So the grappled one or the other one? Uh, the not the not grappled one. So the not grappled one takes thirteen damage. Yes. Thunk. Sure. Next time I will remember that I get advantage. You are ten feet away, so you don't get the. the no, I'm not. I'm in all of these spots while I'm on lower, so I have to take the test. Oh, fun! All right, you're like in the middle. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm quote unquote mounting the spider. Uh, so I, uh, I am as far as anyone is concerned in all of these spots all at the same time. So, uh, yeah, purry kitty. Yeah, oh, everything yeah, is fine that. though. Just a little stank. Uh, that said, you know what? I bet this thing fucking hates guiding bolts in the face. Actually, wait, Space. how hurt was Cass? Was Cass pretty lit up? Uh, I'm okay. Just oh, okay. also be aware you can't, or you don't want to shoot at something adjacent to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay then. Um, In I can't period, do that to... Uh, is that thing being grappled giving me advantage? Because if not, no. that, that went no. nowhere. It just no. reduces its movement speed to zero. No. Okay, then that was that was my turn. In Stray's carrion crown, Drider, mount you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's after combat. Maybe exactly. when I've finished butt scrubbing. Me and out of ten out. wood egg again. Cassidy. Alright, speaking of getting egged, uh 
Let's see, I think that thing will probably focus on Dodrum now, so I'm going to try and eliminate this ghast. And I will do so. Let's see, are these things wearing anything, or are they just naked? I mean... Con save for stank Let's first, see. dude. Oh, right. Yeah. Womp. Blorf. Oh, God, I smell so bad. Uh, yeah, they have, like, loincloths on them. Okay, so nothing I could heat metal on. Gotcha. No. Okay, well... <sighs> I agree. Really big yawn. Really big yawn. Okay, uh, I guess in that case... They look like this. That's the official art for them. Fair enough. Very. I mean, they could have been wearing something anyway. Fine. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take a couple swings uh, at the one in front of Law. Swing, swing. Boy, nice. howdy. Nice. I accept I have disadvantage because I'm poisoned. Uh, oh, right. I failed it. my con save. So I think I double this. That's my turn. This ghast is grappled. Um, yes. Gonna try to claw up Dodrim. Fight me, faggot! 23. Make a con save. Mm. And then take 9 slashing. I will have that. <laughs> and my uh, smell so is probably crits. worse than his. Well, no, you just smell like alcohol. That's it. You, say, you smell like someone set a distillery on fire. <laughs> So it's not it's not like bo and stank or anything like that because nothing can get past just the sheer amount of liquor. Perfect. Now it's fist on time. I mean, whiskey's deodorant, right? Miss. Right in the face. And that's my turn. Okay, well, what was the damage for the first one, which actually hit? Eight again. Eight, okay. You're really good at D4s. Loa. Uh, do I get to make a save against the poison condition? Let's find out together. How long does this condition last? Uh, poisoned until the start of your next turn. You are no longer poisoned. Oh, oh you still need to make Unless you fail turn. again. Oh. No, okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Anyone who uh, succeeds, you're immune to the gas stench for 24 hours. So, anyone who succeeded, you're immune. Cats, oh, you uh, succeeded case, beforehand. Crit. So, yeah. So, you did crit. So, Six sorry about damage. that. Uh, hey! Well, this, one was a, this, this one was a DM error. <laughs> this was my error, not yours. Mmm. Mm, fine, but I'm gonna hold on to the salt. Also, the difference and is that it took six that. damage, not that its attack yeah. never happened. Yeah, exactly. So it's just going to take slightly more damage. <laughs> Look, so, DCR, when fine, you're the logic. DM, you can cock up and call back on it. That's the that's... fine. Logic your way out of this. Fine. <laughs> yeah, it's not I like do... I care that you make a valid argument. Or Baka. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Any, anyways, if you were poisoned, although even if you uh, succeeded the throw before, please uh, let me know if I tell you to make a save. But Loa, you've made the save. You're immune. Because the thing is, on the little spell card, you know, it just didn't. Yeah. Didn't scroll down. That's fine. Mm. Ooh, that's a good smite. Did I hit that's with moving. that? Did I hit yes. with the sixteen? Okay, so sixteen damage. 11 of which oh is radiant. God. If it has any weakness, you it probably magic doesn't. magic pixeled it. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I I have, throw a rock I at its head. Have, I should have two-handed the hammer. Nah, the shield is a lot safer against fucking paralyzing attacks. <laughs> you take your chances. Amadeus, Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. So, hmm. oh, oh, Amadeus. Yeah, I, I have this mighty thing to do on my turn. Uh, I'll I'll just, I'll just resummon my glaive. 
that. My glaive is my um, my spell f focus. Oh right, of course. So you can't actually eldritch. Can you not th <laughs> throw th throw a rock at its head? Beth. I. I mean, can I stray? Um, Do what? Throw a rock at that cast's head. <laughs> I mean, sure. This sounds like a dexterity thing. This is the ranged right, attack. It'll do one plus strength damage if it's a rock, and it can only be like 30 feet, I think. So, yeah, that'll be a mighty one. Um, assuming, Magic. you know, it's a minimum of one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, just... <laughs> Pick up rock! Throw it at dust. Uh, I want this to be a one so bad. No, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> So which one do you do? <laughs> the one that's one who yes! from death, I'd hope! Do you know what happens when undead reach zero? Yeah. They die. They die. Beth! <laughs> kill them with a rock! Oh my god. Just gets, clumped. Just gets clumped in the head and falls down. Get crumped. You're stoned, bro! I think it's Have I ever no. mentioned that I really hate undead? Well, yeah, they're not following I don't me think to glory. So. Everyone knows that, you know, followers of Phantasmo hate the dead. Scratches! Alright. Shooting. I assume. There, there's no problem with me shooting it, right? I'm not oh, yeah. the no, system. no. Grapples, rock rock. Grapple doesn't, uh, like, make it enter his square, so. I pop out. 23. And a boo. Actually, well, there is. Don't steal my kills, you shit. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Well, uh, Demig! I'll just, uh, hide again. Okay. Good mm. shot. Shara! Uh, I'm gonna just, like, slide off of Lois' bum. And put Wanda, Wanda. Hey, Scratches. You can't see me. I'm standing still. You actually can't. I see have trap sense. Oh wait, no, she does actually. I forgot God about damn that. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> have a How many wounds. times? How many times? There you go. Okay. Plus seven. She cups the balls. And actually, wait. Is it? I think back. I get my cure wounds is meant to be way beefier than that. Oh, no, it isn't. It is a plus three. So. Oh, the healing cup, ball cup. Yep. We'll exactly. Send... Yeah, it's we'll like, I can't see you, but if I, like, cast holy gropes vaguely in a crotchwood direction, I'll find a trap. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Alright, I guess that makes it my turn. Yes. So now that I'm no longer poisoned, let's see if I can kill steel again. Swing, swing. Uh, 12 and 12. No. Well, I tried. This gas is going to continue doing what it likes to do. Oh. Everyone's a jerk. Dodrim. Well, I believe we can all guess what's going to happen in this turn. German suplex. I wish. I fucking wish. You miss. You miss. I miss. I miss. God damn it, team. <laughs> Loa! Spider butt. Spider butt. You magic pixeled it. Um. Mm. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm a deus. Is it the same day as yesterday? How many spell slots? You should you know, shield, a shield of faith. The and only then... spell slot of yours that's been spent was shield of faith and one slot for a smite, I believe. In fact, no, no you, you spent you two slots. Twice. So you have spent so, three spell slots. Okay, then I don't. I can't actually smite it. Okay, so yeah. Okay. Oh it's my god. Magic pixel. Amadeus, are you going to rock it again? <laughs> Wait, is this on I Magic am... Pixel? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Rocket Amadeus again! Do you want. Screw it. Rock me, yes! Amadeus. 
Oh my god. Beth, one she damage. Two in a row with a rock. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking, you, you, you've obviously chose the wrong profession as Heckblade. Oh my god. We and should get the, you a big, we should get you a big is, slingshot then. The worst part is, Merzendi's never even seen Rock Me Ever Days. I was about to click that, I forgot I have one stream. Yeah, I only have three spell slots. Shit. Rock you like a hurricane. Okay. Um... This guy's gonna continue to run until he doesn't run anymore and he's gonna come back and then you guys are gonna kill him. Yeah. So... Sounds good. Fair enough. And I don't remember what I put my... ASI into at all. In cutie bootiness? I don't remember. It's been a while, so I don't remember what I did. Alright, third room. Uh, I mean this with all of the best of intentions, but you need some kind of bath or a perfume or something. Just pour more alcohol on them, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh god, but it's just, it's, just, it's just done. It's just It's just... It's... It, alcohol can't go that far. Dude, also, actually, that's ruining alcohol he... with corpseliness. So Actually, now, to be fair, now he just smells like rotten eggs and alcohol. Uh, Actually, to be fair, ghastly, I don't smell like the ghastly brew is a pro popular brand down here. But the, it's not actually, presumably, dead flesh or all of the, you know, clerics of Vampledon would hate it. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I was about to say, you can't convince me some fucking mat lad wouldn't put a, a gas in a bottle and like <laughs> put some water in and drink it. Yeah, yeah, it's but a it's it's like a bottle of it's like a bottle of tequila with a worm, but the worm is still alive even though it should be dead. I mean that's what they do with fucking uh scorpions and snakes. Delicious. Oh no, they they aren't alive when they're in the bottle. <laughs> they're quite they're, dead. They're, I mean like some right, kind of right. zombie they would, worm. They wouldn't actually do that, so the joke doesn't work. No. Also I'm sad that Amy is no longer taking the bait whenever I misspell Fez uh uh, Fez Bender's name. Who? What? You know the god, Phantasmo. Oh, okay. I, I know. Vanglesmond. Well, I'm not a smite, but I do have Lay on Hands. I can do 15 hit points, so I'm going to give myself 9. Yeah. Uh, Loa gropes her tits. Wait, before you do that, I'm pretty sure I can beast us all with a prayer of healing if everyone's willing to stand still for like 10 minutes close to me. Shara, I yeah. got hit really hard. Yep. Shara, I got hit really hard. Can you grope my balls again? Nope. But I can oh. instead cast the most powerful prayer. I pray you wow. guys so fucking good. Max heal. Healing! You guys mm. all get really, really healed. But uh, the gents find themselves rock hard, and uh, the women find themselves wet. No idea why. It just happens sometimes. I, mean, I, I have a good idea why. I have no but... idea what you're talking about, Bounce. Alright, so we're all back up to full. She yep. does what uh, Dabbler did in that most recent comic where she was making cookies, but instead she's yes. making heels. I love that comic. <laughs> that, that, that is probably my favorite one that he's drawn in a long time. Yeah, I I really I really really like uh, girl power, even if the uh, like, uh, even if the main uh, artist is like, uh, my God, the furriest furry who ever furried. Excuse would me. Would put DCL. To, well, no, he'd put you to shame. Excuse that kind of me. Furry. Like oh, he would. Full fur suit furry. He's like full fur suit. He's got like three different ones, a bunch of different sonas, and used to draw a furry comic. Okay, fair enough. He, he only beats God, me because of fursuit. You sound so put out. Look, I lose to fursuiters, but only I, that's the only line I won't cross. <laughs> yeah. yeah, also, I mean, like, this is this, this dude's other, like, fucking art, and it's just. No, he, it's but he's so really good. I fucking like that guy. good. <laughs> I like that guy. But, you know, and it's obvious, his furriness does come through, obviously, because there are were creatures in this world, and there's basically were everything, like were antelopes. And one girl is like a wear jackrabbit. But okay. she knows Muay Thai, so she kicks people really, really hard. But they're they're actually not a, a focal thing. They're part of like uh the more magical realm when uh the superheroes are all super powered, you know, super powered. So none of them only one of them can turn into a furry. Which, you know. For a furry, it's relatively low out of the cast of like twenty five. So yeah. 
God, Dodger Mode. Shall we head uh, down? Yeah, let's go. I bet it's going to smell just terrible down there, but let's do this thing. I, I, I didn't make I didn't make a map for this simply because it's kind of pointless. Because I'm just going, you know. Stop moving uh, me. I was wonder, waiting for you to say something. Why can do you see it? Okay, whatever. Because it's a know. cat. If we're the same character, it's fine. Anyways, I don't remember giving DCL this ability, but you know, you can't bourbon, stop. bourbon be whack. Anyways, so you guys go down into the ruins and you find quite a few severed, charred heads, all arranged within a somewhat of a pyramid with uh, the symbol of a god scratched into it. Oh boy, I uh, I would prefer to stay away from this one. I'm just I don't gonna need... look at Shara and Loa. Um, look up from the guy. I actually, actually, I just realized. Uh, I just realized. Um, who uh was in the party? Hey, Amadeus, you mm -hmm. recognize this instantaneously. Because you and your kind absolutely hate uh, Ergothoa. Oh no. The goddess of physical excess, disease, and undead. Worshipped by dark necromancers and the undead. Did someone say necromancy? Hard. <sighs> well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I say burn it more. And in any event, there is a charred metal lockbox. It appears that the lock is uh, fused in there. And um, aside from that, uh, the damp cellar it appears to be Dr. Brada's private workshop. Though what you were expecting to be some sort of provision cellar is in fact some sort of secret laboratory. A pair of large water casts sits beneath the entrance shaft to climb upon. The cellar itself is some 15 feet high and obviously is a mess. And let's see. You find buried among the debris and all this strangeness. You find 12 silver crossbow bolts in a quiver, a slightly melted gold uh, belt buckle, an iron, and finally an iron bracelet with the silver filigree work depicting a moon, a moon eating an owl. Who has magic as fuck? No. I'll take those silver crossbow bolts because I have a crossbow. I also have a crossbow, but fuck that noise. I also have a crossbow. Oh. Everyone has crossbows. That's because crossbows so, are dope. I pull out my crossbow. I actively use my range options, so, you know. <laughs> All of us get out our crossbows and fire them like Texans with revolvers. <laughs> oh my god, Yeehaw! you dealt negative damage with your crossbow. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> it's got your dex modifier in there as damage and just had a negative one. You know, Yeehaw, I... motherfuckers! My name is Bull Patillo and this is my range. Pew, pew, pew! My mic plugged in. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yes. Okay, can I get the silver crossbow bolt since I actually use uh, range options? Actually, yeah, do you, sure. use, do you a use a crossbow? Uh, wait, can I? I'm a These rogue, though. I can, I, I'm a rogue. I can use a crossbow. You right? can use a light crossbow. Would you like to borrow mine? Oh, that's something. Hmm. They're different weapons. Hmm. Yes. Okay, the, no. the difference between a crossbow and a bow is uh it takes an action like uh it'll reload. take one of your rogue actions to reload it the crossbow does more damage but requires an action to reload yeah i thought crossbows were small, uh no it doesn't no, well, so it's really? a rogue no. you strike you cannot use a light crossbow you what you you, you can do simple weapons hand crossbows long swords rapiers and short swords Oh, hmm. crossbow is not on that list. What do you mean crossbow is not? Wait, a light crossbows, light crossbows are, simple. are simple weapons. He can absolutely oh, use a crossbow. Okay. okay. Uh, I was okay. gonna say yeah, I no, use simple weapons. I can yeah. use a light crossbow. Yeah. So okay. Sorry for some reason. I no. I was remembering Pathfinder where it, you know crossbows were gay. 
Basically, the only time the crossbows were good in Pathfinder is when you got the dwarven auto uh, semi-automatic mm. crossbow, and then you became Beric. I think in Five E, you it's, you, you just can't do multiple fine. attacks with a crossbow. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. You're not in the, you're not a double tapper. Yeah. Would you like yeah, to Would you I like to borrow so. my crossbow so you have access to silver bolts? Yes. Okay then. Uh, I will after you know I, I give it a quick fire for like. Pew! Yeah. Ah. I will hand it <laughs> hand it off to the cat. <laughs> How many silver, silver bolts were there? They're being a quiver of twelve. Six, so six below, six a... for scratches. You found a pile of skulls. You found a lockbox where the heat of the flame melted the lock. And you found 12 crossbow bolts and a quiver. A slightly melted gold belt buckle worth 15 GP. And an iron bracelet with silver filigree work depicting a mood eating an owl. Worth... Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and identify the... Uh all the stuff, I guess. See if anything of it is uh, going to be magical. Sure. The belt buckle is not. The arrows are not. The silver filigree work depicting a mood in an owl is. These appear to be some sort of magical bracelets where when spoken a command word, they will clasp and unclasp and are incredibly hard to get off. Kinky. Are they connected together by anything, or are they just... A fine-wrought silver chain. Ah, I see. Uh, Cass is just going to tuck that in his belt. And nice. uh, is there anything inside the lockbox? Uh, a, I mean, the lock is melted. I open it. You can't open it because the lock is melted into it. Oh, I see. It's not like lock. an outside lock. It's an internal lock. Oh. I see. Uh, hey, Lo, would you like to use your special lock opener? Yeah. Wait, can we gently, like, shake the box and make sure it's not full of, um, like, you know, bottles and glass stuff that will get destroyed by this thing being hit with a hammer? You know, How get... big is this lock box? All right. It appears to be about the size of a shoebox. It's yeah. a strong. This is a metal strong box. Oh, yeah. Um, does it sound like it's got like loose things inside that might get ruined by smacking the front of it with a hammer? When uh you ship this around, uh you all you hear is uh, like a schwuff schwuff of paper inside. Oh, don't shwuff. give this thing the heckin'. You trigger the fireball scroll. Yeah, I, I am going to put my face behind my shield. <laughs> my face is my shield. Faith, even. My faith is my shield. I deflected your fist with my face. Uh, I guess I will. Uh, did, you guys, uh, did you guys move, uh, use a uh, perception check down here? I can't remember. Investigation, I mean? Nope. Okay. That ain't my jam. All right. Oh, okay. Well, there now we you do. So. Um, among the ruins are numerous shards of charred broken glass, but your check finds one unbroken vial that is rolled into the corner. The label on the vial is very damp, but the words Vork, Stag, and Grind, Chemical Bleach, are still clearly visible. And aside from that, when you make this check, you also look around and you see that all the severed heads had some sort of horrid physical deformity, all except one. Alas, poor Yorick. We knew him well. Fuck Yorick, he was a prick. Wow. I mean, Dodrum, it's literally bleach. A strong Green. drink, indeed. My butts <laughs> need... Oh, no. Can someone give me guidance? I think the dwarf needs it more than you. I don't want to ask, like... No, oh, whatever. Guide me to the bleach. I think the dwarf needs life guidance. All right. Well, <laughs> you don't need it. Yeah, the, like two hit doesn't really matter. Nine bludgeoning is enough to crush into the lockbox. And now, uh, what you see is a bunch of papers. Now, within here, there uh, appear to be mm, 
mostly, it seems, uh, unfortunately, the heat of the fire has been enough to char most of the papers beyond recognition. However, oh. as you guys start to look through it, um, a you are able to decipher the words Vorkstag and Grind's Chemic Works, and they appear multiple times in the documents, and from the wording of it, this seems mm, untoward. And, in fact, Amadeus, having lived here for a while, will recognize the name of Vork, Stag, and Grinds. They are very well-known and respected uh, merchants within the town. However, it seems like the author was intimidated by these people, though you can't really understand why, and there seemed to be a large collection of odd uh odd purchases and uh just things don't sit well with you especially because at least at the very bottom of the page it i mean i'm sure it's possible it could have come from other an other uh place but you could have sworn it said uh two human femurs necromancy uh -huh. Uh -huh. I will reiterate, however, that this uh, Vork, Stag, and Grind are uh, well-respected pillars of the community in this town. At least that's what Amadeus can tell you. Weird. That seems like that might be complicated to pose in the middle of the trial. Yes. Uh, Would your priestly friends help? I mean, everyone knows that Vandalfont hates the dead people. Uh, yes, the grave charge would, uh be able to perform a further investigation, I'm sure, but it's peculiar to even think we would need one. Well, I mean, what kind of big merchant company hasn't dabbled in the dark arts? Uh, I, I would hope it meant most of them. What? I mean, that doesn't sound like capitalism to me. Hmm. That is heresy. Well, I just want the point that eight. Okay, so maybe dwarven. Heresy. Yeah, okay, so maybe dwarven big companies don't dabble in the dark arts. Instead, they just have you know very scary mothers to keep them on the right and narrow. I mean, all oh. your good friend Amadeus can tell you is that um, while Vorksag and Grind are well respected merchants, Grind is a peculiar, peculiar looking fellow. But you know, he's a gnome. Gnomes are that way, you know. Of course. Oh, he's a gnome. Okay, we can probably just play on the town's racism. Okay, awesome. Mm. Wait a second, I'm against that. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. Wait, a, wait, a, wait a second, yeah. I'm opposed to that, especially that. How many, yeah. And how many times must I reiterate they are both well-respected and have a lot of friends? Yeah, but racism, though. But well-respected. Yeah, but racism, though. Look, everyone needs to have but some kind of gnomish also... dude they respect so that they can make racist jokes about the other gnomes. That's how that goes. I can say that. I've got mm. friends who are gnomes. Mm. But I also want to point out that uh, while the bumfuck nowhere hillbillies might have been racist, uh, the people of Ustalov aren't racist. They just really don't like outsiders. If you've been around long enough, they accept you as one of their own and then just hate you a little less and just hate outsiders even more. They hate each other. They hate everyone else. They're, they, this is just Ustalov. No one trusts anyone. That's why you guys can walk around with a full-on drider and people, uh, aside from like doing a double take, will just be like, oh, right, I'm an Ustalov. Mm -hmm. This is like fucking... You're fucking Ustalavians, but nobody's done anything to us. We haven't been chased out of town yet. I mean, you know, that one is dressed like a paladin. That helps that she's a shiny good girl. 
We should uh, give this document to the lady judge. She'll um, she'll know better than us what to uh, sure. make of it. We should probably move all these ghastly corpses, though, in case, you know, like, Karin and stuff come by and then totally screw this whole, all of this other stuff up. Because this looks like evidence. But who's going Indeed. to kill Bikey in the first place? Someone, know, make someone me... who has an evil underground fuck shack. Alright. And, um, someone make me an investigation check while you're shuffling through the strong box. So, Cass. Uh, I'll assess. Sure. Boop. Wow. All right. When you pick up the strong, uh, when you pick up the broken, shattered pieces of the strong box, you realize that there is a, uh, the bottom of it is much thicker than it should be, and when you waggle it around a little bit, it sounds hollow. Ooh. Ooh. Me. Just find the shiny. Yeah, Kess will <laughs> empty the box out and then, like, wedge his dagger in there and try and lift up the false bottom. All right. It's a trap. You're turned to stone. So. You get yep, Monty. and oh, then no, you get Monty. Monty. <laughs> no. Uh, as you do so, a small map uh, falls out and lays upon the ground. When you pick it up and look at it, you see... In fine filigree, at uh, crafts to the top, it says Bork Stag and Grinds Chemic Works. It appears to be some sort of hidden location that Ooh. we should go there. Hang on, and it appears that um, it will be pointed out by uh your buddy Amadeus, that this is on the outskirts of town, but it doesn't look right. Because while, um, you know, he's been around, he knows the place, and there definitely is, well, at least not supposed to be, an entire lower level that bleeds into the catacombs. Ooh, cool. Maybe we could come in through the catacombs. That's a bad idea. Why? We all float down here. I... Because it's the catacombs, there are boardings. There are... Oh. I thought you were just going to say, oh, it's full of undead. But why is it full of undead? But I guess that, that makes a lot of sense on both counts, so... It's, it, it, it's precisely to stop it... to stop evil necromancers sneaking in and um, raising an army of undead. But... Unless secret necromancers have been using this warding as a what? cover screen for their secret undead army, so we should check the catacombs anyway. There's not supposed to be a back door there. Exactly, which is why if there is one, it's bad news. Yeah, we should go investigate. This is the first time anyone has ever suspected it. We could be heroes. As well as, you know, the usual kind mm, wait, of errors that solve wait, wait. problems. Could you be heroes just for one day? I mean, I try to be a hero all the time. <laughs> I could be your hero, yeah. baby. Are we the is my hero every day. No. Oh. Cass gets pulled up into hugs and is face to face with Tsitsi, who is hiding in Shara's cleavage. Me. Are we, are we the baddies? No. Wait, you have a goat in your cleavage? Yeah, Tsitsi is hiding in there. I put him there, but can't she fit in there. I mean, she's yeah. got a huge bust. Guys. It's a big. I got big boobles. Is it a baby goat or a it is a baby goat. goat? Yeah, it's a baby goat. But it can fit. He's growing little nubbinses of horns, though. That look like Shara's. They're the best. Yeah, despite uh what her token looks like, I think she's supposed to have like uh fucking like I mean, age this, cups. This, this she's still. I mean, they're definitely not age cups. They're still squidgy beavers. I probably got it pretty written down. Sure they were how big, pretty big. How big I, is I think you told me they were pretty big. Yeah, I forget that you, we all have you, different. You, you literally told me bigger than they look in uh, my picture because I can't draw them that well. That's true. That does sound like exactly what I would say because I can't draw that well. 
Anyways. Yeah, I didn't. So, I, all I use is the phrase plush and jiggly. There is no size. There is no cup description. So I've got like Schrodinger's uh, like breast size. Like as long as no one checks what it says on the inside of my bra, we never have to know. We'll just say she's got a couple of volleyballs sticking up on there and leave so, it at that. Are we going underground? Um, the entrance would be back in the city, and you guys oh. do have some things you wanted to do before then. There is the abandoned village where uh, a bunch of kids were killed, and that's at the very, very top. And then the village was abandoned, mysteriously. Mm. And... We got to do two things at once in a single day. Have we got enough days to go it's back to town to rest? Yeah, I was going to say, is it better for us to go back to we town to rest that. first? Uh, it would take you longer to do that. Oh, it would take us longer to get to town. Camp. Yes, I, I will tell you that there are no random encounters here. You killed the random encounters. No cool. one, no monster, no uh, highwaymen or animals live around where ga uh, gas hunting ground. They sure. were the badness. Can we scrub Dodrum off in the river then? And then before we camp? Oh, I sure. need to, I need, also, to yeah. I need, I need to have a bath too. So. Um, the next closest place is the Boneyard, where there was a desecration of the Boneyard. Boneyard and... is ready. Yeah, here, let me just do this. Um, and then where is... We'll do that. You've already figured out that. You have, uh... Hang on. Look through this. You've looked through this. There you go. Some strike throughs for you, so you know what you need to do next. I don't see any strike I didn't bother. Uh, oh, right, you mean on the do in the document. Sorry, I was like looking at the map, like, what the fuck are you talking no, no. about? You mean in the mystery? In, okay. Yeah, in the mystery documents. You need to uh, figure out who murdered six children in Hergstag. Probably the beast. It was totally the beast, right? He, he hates beast. kids. Yeah. And you need to find out why the boneyard was desecrated. Yeah. Uh, I like my own my own notes. They're very very haphazard. They're exactly how Shara would write notes. Shara note day twenty three. People keep calling it crocodile. No matter what I say. They won't say proper crocodile. What? Shara is the opposite. She is the person who <laughs> on purpose says everything wrong. <laughs> All right, I'll be <laughs> the party's name are Doddles, Amy, sadly Lola. Lower is sometimes Lolo, but her name is too short to shorten. Cassidy is Cass for obvious I reasons. I will be back momentarily. I got a pee pee. Sure thing. I guess I'll get a drink too. Yeah. Let me get some orange uh, juice. Boy scratches is obviously scratches. Yep. I am um, I'm scratching yet. Yeah. It's like we I know I was saying that that Shara probably calls scratches scratches. She doesn't call anyone their names correctly. She's she really does her very best to avoid it. Everyone's got some kind of short name or mixed up name or it's just wrong a bit. I mean usually they start calling me scratches. You know what? I'm not gonna make that joke. That's fair. Easy. Indeed, too easy has been used to describe you in the same nights where you've been described as scratches. I Explicit. don't have a counter argument. <laughs> no First off, fuck you. I, my, I don't have a counter argument, so I can I can do nothing but accept what you say. Hey, have I ever shown any of you guys my dope cane? I have a cane. It's very cool. I haven't got a suit to go with it though. I went and needs one of those suits, but there's nothing that fits the chest. I have a cane, and I tap it on the floor, and sparks come out the bottom of it. Tap tap. And that's when we learn that you had the cane to summon some of the devil, just by tapping it on. The yeah, ground. you tap you you tap it six times at a crossroads, and the devil turns up and offers you a deal. But his deal with me is always just more blowjobs. Shrug. B R B. You are going to be RB. Uh, you know, I'm going to move it over to a little, little break screen then, put some more music on. Uh, let's go with whatever is, is called.
Parappa the Rapper Mega Mix Cypher Anna Mashup 169 Mashup. Alright, sure. <laughs> what? Impressive. Ah, I forgot about Lake Sonara. I'm fine. I keep showing you. It sounded like, um, Kitten something bites. really bad happened. Kitten bites. Why is sound only coming out of one headphone now? Because only one ear needs to hear the truth. No, this is actually annoying me. Hang on. I'm sorry, Jesus. No, not you. Fuck! God damn it. What's your cat do? The bites DCL is being stronger. eaten alive. The bites are getting stronger. <laughs> Someone say something. Yes, hi, hi, hello. Weird. Now a majority of the sound is coming out of the left, but the right is just really quiet. And scout still gone? Seems so. Like. Did you see that cat in Coconut Pass, Miss Cindy? Ow. Yes. We'll just get a uh, fucking. Uh, what's her name? Amy in a pose like that. That should be your next pose from Barrett. <laughs> just, oh, yes. And I'm back. Yeah! Okay. Yeah! Yes! So, I think we're still sapless. No, I'm here. So. Oh, hi. Hey, now it's time to go to the bone zone. Unless you guys want to skip it. Uh, I mean, it's it's spooktober. I don't think we're I don't think we are legally able to skip the bone zone. Click and can't get my sack. Okay. So I assume you all are gonna like wait until morning and not just run off into the night. No, some of yes. us have spell slots, and we like those to be not empty. Correct. We're a little bit off center. Oh, so yeah, Loa got got all of the the butt scrubbins, so she's she's looking sparkly and clean as a spider. Holy shit, that's a very regal cat. Sorry, I just saw the picture that that's posted. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If they haven't named their cat Arthur, they're missing out. So it's stray. Um, I I have forgotten. Um, did we get? Uh, in what way was the boneyard desecrated? Is it just uh, graves emptied or what? It appears that several graves have been emptied. Six, to be precise. At least that's the rumor. No one really goes here anymore. We don't go to Raven Home. I love that mission. Oh my god. My favorite part of Half Life Two. Mm, it was pretty cool, actually. It was, might be the only part of Half Life Two I legitimately enjoyed and would do again. I'm, the rest of the game kind of milk toast on. Uh, I have a delicious yeah. mug of chocolate milk. I got milk. I'm just annoyed that for some reason, like seventy percent of my volume is only coming through the left now. Everyone's hangs to the left a little bit. To the left, to the left. Take it back now, y'all. Fuck, I hate that song. 
Are you sure? Excuse one me. too, one too many drunk discos. That Excuse makes me. sense. What do you say about my culture? I don't even. Were they black? I thought they were the whitest people in the world. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm just I, I, I was like, I just paused and think. Wait a second. I'm not even sure they're black. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Casper was a black guy. Was he? God, he was very yeah, white. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, his name is DJ Casper, well, the, the whitest well, ghost in the world. So. <laughs> well, the reason why uh, one of the reasons why he called it is because he only wore like all white clothing on stage. That's why he was DJ Casper. He only wore white on stage. Oh, just because he's the fucking world's he whitest black man. Did he, did he I, get the Michael Jackson treatment in the end? No. Hmm. Apparently he's on Orange is a New Black as well, man. Hmm. Huh. I guess that's where you end up in your life. <laughs> Prison? Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, Wow. Remember the cha-cha slide. Hmm. I'm, I'm just trying to ignore it and think about the cha-cha slide now. Go join Rim in the corner. <laughs> There's no room in the corner for me. I need my own wing. I'm some kind of some kind of racist oubliette. Oh my god. An oubliette is a fun <laughs> thing to say. I want a house with an oubliette. Really? Fuck yeah. I mean, I'd probably keep like, you know, kegs of wine or ale in it instead because that's a really good place to store things in an oubliette. Mm. It's hard to argue that, or maybe like uh, cheeses. This is true. And then you can have the oubliette of cheese. Instead of the usual things which oubliettes are, which is like the oubliette of sorrows, or the oubliette of shadows, or other things that oubliettes are renowned for that are grim and dark. Something, something oubliette my cheese any day, baby. Something, yeah. something. Ah, gotta channel that Bruce Campbell sometime. Are you also drinking um... a mojito? Oh man, I wish I was. I wish but I was. But unfortunately, right the now. thing is, uh, one of the heartbreaking things I learned in my life is uh, I'm not cool. And uh, one of the people who helped me realize that was DCL. And uh, when I asked him uh, to tell me the instant I became cool, he just laughed at me, meaning that my odds of me becoming very cool are very, very, very low. I just have to drink mojitos every day. I, f I feel I I'm confused. I cannot deny that this might have happened. But oh no, we had a conversation time. about it. You, uh, uh, like this was a conversation where you said, "I just realized that um, uh, all black people are born cool. It's my own fault that I'm not cool." And I was like, "Wait, what does that make me?" Do you see? And he's like, "I'm sorry, you're white. You have to become cool." I was like, "Oh yeah, am, am I this cool, DCL?" Cool. No, I'm sorry, Stray. Will you tell me when I become cool? <laughs> sure, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Alright. So, I am not an expert on grave desecration. I'm an expert on grave decoration. I can make a grave look real cute. Well... I mean, being exhumed is... rather uh, obvious desecration. Um, Considering our luck, oh, I'm just please. waiting for one of the bodies to jump up. Oh yeah, if we don't see some undead here, I'm going to be real disappointed. So <laughs> Peanuts are like nuts. Flag. They are exhumed. I'm gonna do a flap, a flap, flap around. Is there any of that weird, uh... You know, crazy Miss Ergot's um, signatures anywhere. Doesn't appear to be. No. Hmm. She is the goddess of being ugly. Oh god, I saw Dorman pop up on the corner. I'm just like, oh shit, Dwarven needs zombies. We're in it now. Alright, stop. Oh, and shit. as Loa and Cass approach this area... They hear a uh, very large, laborious flapping, and then out of the sunlight, a huge figure alights and then lands on a s top of a statue in front of you. This figure appears to have uh, very large bat-like wings, 
a scorpion tail tipped with a wicked point and big old cat ears popping out of the top of her head. She also appears to be in the latter stages of pregnancy. Hey there, cutie. Oh my god, there are more of you. Go away. What? Get out of my home. No one was have been here in like 20 years, and then all of a sudden, all the people, all the time. Wait, what? hold on, what What other people? Well, there's your looky-loos, there's the fishermen that suddenly decided to come here, there's that horrible, gross thing. Go away! What, what, what horrible, gross thing? Please, uh, someone's life is in danger. It... Everyone's life is in danger. This is Ustalav. Go. Shoo. Uh, but please, miss, you're the only one who can save him. If if you tell us what this gross thing you saw was, it could prove that our friend wasn't here. And Cass is going to make a persuasion test. Uh, Fine, but no closer. And she uh, bristles like... She lifts up her paws and, uh, well, she lifts up her arms and these appear to be like, uh, from the elbow down, you know, big old fluffy huge mitts. But wrapped around one uh, appears to be some sort of uh, spell focus. The warlock in your party will tell you that this is likely a fellow warlock. Ooh, I make a okay. sneak check so I can... I'll wave, I'll, I'll wave, stick up a hand. I make a sneak check so I can go up and touch her toe beans and then die. No. Not actually do this. Hi there. In the actual book, this is just supposed to be a manticore, and I was like, <laughs> oh, you expect me to use a regular manticore stat block? Oh, you're funny. And you expect me not to wipe through the manticore? Uh, hey, excuse me, miss. Uh, hi? I am a cleric of life, and you have a pregnant tum tum. Would you like me to check on your kid and tell you if it is doing well? I could even tell you things like, it's gender. Squints at you. Aren't you a... Devil? What? You look like a devil. I'm a succubus. You... And I'm a life Yeah, cleric. that's not any better. But it's totally better. I'm literally an expert on boning and the things that, like, you know, post-boning activities like being pregnant. I'm that and a cleric of life. I mean, come on. This is this is my wheelhouse. This is my moment, my time to shine. Because I don't know shit about medicine, but I know stuff about pregnancy and babies. She looks very uncertain. Perhaps uh, Boop. I am really, honestly, a good person. I won't bother using guidance. That seems like not a good idea. <laughs> All right, she's going to like shink, shink her claws threateningly, threateningly. All right, but if you try anything, and her uh, hand will glow a little bit with, you've seen Amadeus do an Eldritch Blast before, and then it'll just kind of fade away. Yep, yep. And I will like literally, you know, take off my uh, my holy symbol shield and uh, dump my magic mace on the ground, and then flap, flap, flap. And then, of course, I cast the ancient art of Hakotami. And listen. Bebe. There are certainly bebes. Oh, lots you of babies. Get a small, you get a small kick in the face. Biff. There are lots of very healthy babies. She nods slowly. Hmm. And it smells like... Girl and boy, but all of them smell like girl and boy. Andy. And then I'll honk a toe bean and flap away. Alright. So, little cat thing. What do you want? You'll leave once you're done, right? You're not gonna take up camp here? Uh, sure, bigger cat thing. Asshole, kind of give a playful wink. 
Uh, we we just need information. That's all. Uh, t tell us about the people who've been here before. Well, I mean, most of them have been people that I guess heard about what happened to all these bodies. And then there were the fishermen who decided that, oh, yeah, this is a great place to go catfishing, you know, next to all of this. And she just points at the wild wood. Wait, they came fishing, but there's no water here. Yeah, the bank is just over there. They were going to camp next to the graveyard. Oh. Still has Ferezo's blessing. I mean, that does make it sound like a safe place to camp. Yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? And then she pointedly, uh, like, uh, extends and retracts claws. Right, of course, that's why why uh, you, you've claimed this is your home. Uh, but... Verasma is known as the midwife, after all. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, so, uh, you mentioned some huge, gross creature. You mean the skin-changing thing? Sure. The... It came a little while back. I... I don't know. I wasn't really... I wasn't really around. I was sitting in my home and saw it move around. You know, when you see a big, horrible creature that, uh, puts... Uh, different faces on itself to change faces you don't really want to mess around with that especially with well and she'll pat her belly mm -hmm. if you want to know more you can go and look over uh, in that bush over there she'll raise a huge paw and then point Oop, I'm on the wrong layer point over here Is that where the creature is, or? Ah, uh, it hasn't been here in a very long time. Say, around the time the graves got all desecrated? Ah, uh, that's been happening for a while. Did, do you know what's causing it? A lot of them happened when I wasn't around. However, I do know that, um... The bodies were just completely taken. Ooh. I got home mm. after a long hunt, and then I came and two of the bodies, two of the graves were dug up, and uh, I will tell you this, they were relatively fresh at the time. Ah, did you see any gnome footprints or smell anything gnomey about any of them? I have no idea what a gnome smells like. A person but small. Um, you mean like him? And she'll point at Dodrum. Uh, not as strongly of alcohol. Yes, they're, they're, and they're, they're, not, they're not really... Like, dwarves are, like, much bicepier than gnomes. Did it just and this is how the race... I just, just know the race whatever... I just know whatever strangers who came here smelled heavily of perfumes and other stuff. Not, like, pleasant herbs or anything like that, mind you. Pungent city folk stuff. Mm, you know, to cover up the smell of handling dead bodies, I guess. I guess? Mm. I wouldn't really care if they would just stay out of my way. I scared one of them off. Was that one a gnome? Like a short, skinny doldrum? No. Mm. More like a... That size, and she'll point at Amadeus, wearing a cloak... Look, look like I have a rich, rich person stuff on it. I wouldn't know. It didn't look eh, like that. Fair enough. I mean, and then there were the other strangers who came here and decided to play with the dead. They're dead now. Are they in the bush that you pointed at? No. Oh. I didn't want their corpses smelling up the place, so I threw them in the river. Yeah, fair enough. They also had dark robes, but, you know, also chanted, fiddling around with the dead, That's carving right, rooms the, uh, into skulls. Mm. Oh, they sound like uh, 
priests of Urgly. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, I got. Urgus. Uggles. Urgathoa. Yeah, Urgly. The bloaty bitch. I got it, it's cool. Actually, she's depicted as a sub person who has half her lower body is just a skeleton. Oh. That's even less fun than her being gross and bloaty. Stupid Urgly no pants. Urgathoa looks like this. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. ugly. Uh huh. This is beautiful. Her title is the Pallid Princess. She's like the opposite of a butterface. Yes. So go, chew, go over into the bush and then leave. And tell other people not to come here. Wait, don't tell them in a way that would make them want to come here. Yeah, uh, we tell them as though it sounds like it would be really be boring to come here. Yes, that. But full of dangerous plants. Alright, uh, thank you so much for your help. It, we really appreciate it. We'll, yes. We'll leave. Thank you for letting me hug your tummy. Mm. Isn't this a fucking public cemetery? Not anymore, I nobody uses it. Tummy. Peace. Castles say out loud, like, I wish I could hug her tummy just loud enough for the manticore to hear it. Oh, I was I just thought about a joke, but then I realized I'd be pulling a Virgil from Devil May Cry. The bad one. Why are you gonna pull her devil trigger? No, I w I was gonna teleport behind her and go nothing personal kit, but then I remember she's pregnant. What the fuck? Mm. And also behind her is a manticore's tail, and so bit turning up behind her is just like putting yourself closer to Stingy Death. Yeah, for no, those of you who don't know, yeah. and more reasons why Devil May Cry the reboot was absolute shit. It's because uh, Virgil like literally shoots a pregnant woman in the stomach, through the stomach, with like a sniper what rifle. What the fuck? Two for the price of Idiot. one. I mean, to be fair, they were both disgusting. The child was a literal yeah. monster. Still. Anyways. She'll kind of grunt a little bit and then uh, make like a come closer gesture to cask. <gasps> nice. Scarper, 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 scarper. It's because they're cats. Yep. Just purring sounds. She'll put a huge mitt on your head and give you pats. Oh god. Cass has like the most turgid boner right now. <laughs> Just sprays white all over her leg. Oh, I'm sorry, that never happened to me before. <laughs> hmm. So, do you want more kittens? <laughs> this is how you get more kittens. Cass uh, gets breached. Mm -hmm. All right, then. So, Cass. <laughs> how do you feel about being picked up and then uh, flown away for a little while? Goodbye, friends. Well, it was nice knowing him. It was nice knowing him. Well. It was a good game. Well, now he has to be a, a Manticore slut slave. So, uh, yeah. You know, right. just uh, the COC bad <laughs> so end. So, this is going to be very popular with the crowd and the players. But if something like that happens... Oh, Damn it, he's our investigator. <laughs> we have to wait for him to come yeah, back we... before we check out the bush. You can I mean, wait I've an got hour. it. Oh, okay. Just as well, just not as well. You can well. wait an hour, but she's hormonal, has needs, and it turns out other cats are pretty great. Yeah, she, she's in the succubus phase of pregnancy. Oh, uh, she. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. She uh, will Amy's. tell. Alright, so an hour will go by. And uh, we'll get back to you, but um, an hour will go by, and Cass, you will be uh, let go on your way with, you know, some head scratches, and be told that you and the red one can come back whenever you want. Oh, fuck yeah. As long as you don't come back with more. Okay. The only thing also, I'm coming back I... with is more come. Also <clears throat> ask the red one if she can come back within... Um, about a month's time. She thinks she'll be due then. Fucking A+. Plus. Will do. I will add that I'd probably not actually be a very good midwife at all. I have zero medicine skill. Ah, you could just keep casting heal. Yeah, it's true. Oh, got it. Teleported. 
Okay, there we go. I'm just moving you over here. <laughs> Again, I still yeah, love that I'm a cleric right with zero medical training. Like, if I'm confronted with an inj injury, I will throw magic at it. And if I can't throw magic at it, well, I hope you like being glue. Uh, so yeah, an hour later, a, like, pelvis broken cast limps back. Fist bump. I... Yeah, it's returned. Check the bush. Pat my guard. Okay. I just can speed hampered. Yeah, bush. All right. And as you <laughs> not the kind there. of bush I've been playing with for the last hour either. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> she was surprisingly well shaven. Investigate. So I mean, find a canoe I mean, damn, if you're hidden in the bushes. Get all in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> you find a canoe dragged up and hidden in the bushes. With oh, I your thought perception you, oh, check. Thought... Hang on. Uh, sure, perception. I thought you were insinuating that he needed a canoe to swim through all of that manticore or wetness. I mean, yeah. Guess That's what I thought was going on. Look back, like there sure is a boat in here. I thought. Uh, uh, I thought we, uh, your new girlfriend said the fishermen were in the other direction. Unless this boat is a mimic. Kaz mm -hmm. takes his and dagger out and back. stabs the boat. I'm back. So, with your investigation check, you can notice that dried blood is in the bottom of the boat. The, it contains an oar. A moldy leather travel bag with a damp artisan's outfit. And what appears to be a detached human face. In addition, the length of rope stretches from the boat all the way to uh, the waters. So Cass screams like about... a bitch when he finds the face. Cass? Oh, ugh. oh! It is face o'clock in that bush right now. Hmm. Cass That's... just limps away and then barfs. Ow! It's okay, Cass. Life is full of ups and downs. Oh <laughs> uh, god! Never so close together. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's not that bad. Oh god, it's gross. <laughs> I mean, the <laughs> chair just comes out and vomits. <laughs> I mean, you haven't been to some of my more failed orgies. Either way. Just let it all. I up. don't think it's that bad. It's there's a face in there. No, oh, how bad is it? Boom, uh -huh. Poke my head in. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I've never gone that bad. Comes out and vomits. <laughs> <laughs> now Scratches is too jaded for vomit, but he's just like, whoa. Well, to be fair, Scratches is an assassin. Yes, yeah, true. He's probably worn somebody's face at some point. Hey, you don't. You can't prove that in a court of law. <laughs> So this is, is probably a long This is probably a long shot since it's just a removed face, but um is it anyone I recognize from Leopardstadt? No. Well gruesome as this is, it's no one important. But you can tell that judging from uh the descriptions you had in the last village and uh uh, and all that stuff, it appears to look the exact same as the creature that attacked, um, what's it called? That attacked Morast and then was bitten by a giant, ca uh, a giant, uh, a giant crocodile. Hmm. That would also explain the blood, wouldn't it? And so, inside of a very, the very large sack I mentioned, um, it, it's big enough to hold a medium-sized humanoid, in fact, and has dried blood soaked into the fabric. The sack holds some rope, a gag, a rusted lantern, a trio of heavy knives, and a rusted shovel. Aside from that, you find a leather-bound case. Ooh. Open it. Is the case locked? Check that the leather isn't no. person. That shit's cast. Oh, no. This appears to be a surgical set used by physicians and uh, chirurgeons. Is that how you say that? 
Surgeons. Surgeons? It's, oh. it's still sh- right. it's still surgeons, it's, it's... but you can you can if you want to pronounce it with it's a heavy like... palate, so it's surgeon. It's like uh dements being actually domain. Yes, yeah, correct. God, I hate mm-hmm. that chat. Yeah, I love I love the word domain written as demen or dame wan. Can't remember what the traditional is. D E S M E G N E is Dame Wan. Anyways, um, on the handle, you notice a small symbol depicting a raven. So, would someone like to make a hmm, hmm a medicine check? Would be uh something that I would accept. Does anyone have it trained? No. Yeah, you say you say that, Saven, but any language that's been heavily influenced by many other languages is like that. That's why Chinese is like that as well. I do because not it have borrows medicine. so much from other languages. I do not have medicine. I'm a cat. I am a bard, so I have a plus one. I have a two naturally. But... Cat all that man. I have a three naturally, but I'm going to stand by my agreements of never rolling medicine and knowing nothing about it. I guess I'm rolling it. Go for it. Good luck. Ooh. Natural nope. one. <laughs> what? My god, this man's you still are... alive! <laughs> you are fairly certain that whatever happened here, clearly it was from a cut he got. While operating the uh, while operating the ore, there's a lot of blood over the top part of the ore. Surely he jabbed it into himself and in launching. Fail, failed failed ore surgery. This is literally the most catastrophic and uh, devastating ore accident I've ever seen in my life. It... <laughs> you what? I mean, have you seen where those some people try to put those things? It gets uh, a little disturbing. I'll take your word for it. Uh, You're the captain on disturbing things going in disturbing places. Good, because I know my medicine. And I am very confident when I say that this ore killed this man. Somehow, that you probably don't want to understand. I'm getting the picture. Uh, I don't want to get this picture. But I'm getting it. And, again... You do find a vial. Ooh, is it another one of the merchant vials from the people who worshipped Ogolfrong? It does not say, but it what you have the uh, suspicion with that one at least that the potions was made by someone else. The reason why uh, Ergotha was there was because there were four undead camping there, and they were intelligent <laughs> and intelligent okay. undead. Anyways, so, uh, there is a potion, if you guys would seek to identify it. Yes. Does the identify spell work on uh, potions? Or magical potions, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no reason why it wouldn't. All potions Um, are by nature magic in this game. With, you know... The artisan's outfit and the detached human face. This appears to be a potion of dark vision. Which is weird because the beast has dark vision. Why would he need a potion of dark vision? So I'm starting to get the feeling that someone is really, really trying very hard to frame Varley. Well, I feel like it isn't hard to frame it in the first place because because yes, Valley Valley is really they're frameable. trying really hard. Yes. I mean... So, here are your deductions. First, someone stole six bodies from the boneyard. Second, a blood came in attack. Uh, well, not a blood came in attack, but a giant crocodile attack should have left massive scars on. Uh, what was his, what did you guys name him, Vili? Vali. Vali. And he has no massive ones, but that uh, that that was something I actually do remember now that I've had a little bit of the sauce that you guys from that you guys uh, asked me last session, which was 
which you guys asked me last session, where can do we remember if Bali has any scars due to a giant crocodile? I told you no. After you made a check. And finally, Vali has dark vision, and such would not need an extract of dark vision. So if any of you are writing this, this I only told you guys this, so if anyone's writing it down for your investigations, it'd be helpful because um, I'm not going to remember this next week. I'm telling you that now. That's not it. I mean, I haven't drunk so much this week as uh, last time. I, you know, yeah, I'm no longer living at home, after all. So. <laughs> Shara keeps her own special notes, so I don't think you want these, uh, for example. Um, Spelt incorrectly on purpose, mind you. So, uh, do we think we have time to quickly look at some of these... Uh, dug up graves before the manticore recovers from Cass. Um, she's not going to attack you. I will tell you that now. What happened to I, the I, Cass? As long as you don't stay. Snoo snoo. Yeah. Oh, I want yeah. to uh... look at I want to look at the gravestones and uh, see dates of birth, dates of death. Because six bodies have been exhumed there are six child corpses found in an abandoned town. That's a coincidence, maybe, or correlation. Who knows? So, yeah. yes, I will let you uh, go and look over here, but to see how recently the graves were dug up, which I believe is the pertinent question, um, you'll need a survival check. However, mm -hmm. no, all to confirm of the, the dates grave, on their stones. All of, they are all. I was going to do that in a second. All right. But I will tell you that all of these people were adults when they died. Oh. That's a shame. I mean, that's not a... Anyway. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's a shame. They aren't all dead children. So. In any event, would anyone like to make a survival check to see uh, how long it had been since each grave was dug up? Okay, 13. 14. Uh, with a 14, you noticed that... The oldest graves are the ones who died the earliest. The oldest that were dug up. So, uh, the oldest grave that was dug up also died the earliest. There are years of time gaps within, you know, one person died. L let's say in like our terms, one person died in 1993. You know, if that's the oldest one. One person died in 1995 you know, less old, and then, like, the most recent one would be someone who died, like, in 2018. So you can guess that they were dug up at the very least pretty quickly after they died. This doesn't add up with the timeline at all. It's... I am sorry I would be saying things, but I am dead. I am to become de death, dehumanized. Don't worry about it after this part. I think we're going to call the session because we have a whole new investigation to do. And I will tell you, the biggest one is the last one. Cool. So, I don't want to go to Hergstag because it's basically uh, Village Second. Uh, it, 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 basically, you're investigating, uh, what's it called? The Missing Village. Uh, basically, six children died and then mysteriously all of the villagers vanished. Mm-hmm. And supposedly the beast taunted someone over a dead child's corpse, which seems like a pretty bad move. Mm. That is indeed what you've been told. Fucking teabagged him. Did a Fortnite dance on him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
This guy was a little camping noob. noob. You are father to a camping noob, and this is what happens. About the site, would you like to know more? I'm good. Gonna climb on spider bat. Oh, I, I've got no, uh, I've got nothing. All right. And with that, you guys will, uh, extricate yourself and then head further upriver. I believe that is where we're going to call our session for today because you are going to go to Hergsterg. Sounds like a brand of mayonnaise. Hergsterg mayonnaise. <laughs> It's Hergstag, but... Hergster uh, Murners. <laughs> if it's uh, Murner yeah. Lerps, Murder. Please, please give me a second before we draw the session to a close. I need to I need to read something real quick. You need to read the words. Your players should now be level inset here. Yes, they should. That That's what I'm doing. Yeah, right, <laughs> I think so. Uh, listen, I, I, I really messed up last time. And I didn't give you guys a level you should have gotten. So, let's see. Do, do, do. You know what? I th think... Now, let me scroll back down. Because it says... It, it doesn't exactly say when 5th level should be reached. But it tells me when 6th level should be reached. And so, I need to see how far ahead 6th level is. Um... Gaston? That's why the little brother. No one talks and walks and sings like Gaston. Okay. So, no. You guys will remain level 4 for now. Okay, pokey. I figured. I still eagerly await the day that uh, DCL gets to do a double hitting alpha strike. Maybe next session. I mean, yeah. Never, if I remember never. next time how my things Perhaps. work. So, thank you everybody for playing. Um, is there anything you would like to do or say before we draw the session to a close? Of course, as usual, thank you very much for running. And if you're watching in the stream, or if you're watching in the VOD, then I hope you have yourselves a lovely motherfucking good time. And please do take care. Manticore Bye, stream. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>